investigation cone here. I've been working over the last month to come up with something new and exciting to be a worthy award to our most skilled Rumbleverse players. And so, the winner of the Invitational, in addition to the cash prize, is going to get this trophy to memorialize our time in Grapital City together. It's everyone's favorite item, the popcorn party. We'll print a custom nameplate for the winner. Might be me. Maybe I won't have to print a new one. And you'll get this actual representation of this item, which both brings your friends and enemies closer to you. This is uh, really realistic looking. I wonder what would happen. Go ahead and heat this baby up. Let's find out. Three D printer plastic is actually microwave safe. It does not heat up in the microwave. Uh, hot corn might uh, soften it a little bit, but should all be good, assuming this works. This is a good time to uh, remind you that every kitchen should have a fire extinguisher and should be checked regularly for your safety and your family's safety. What was that? Oh my god. That's right. I've invented the world's first microwave video game tournament trophy that actually functions. So you can have your very own popcorn party with your friends. If your friends were inside a microwave. The trophy is going to come with extra corn and removable insert in case the... Uh, plastic does soften a little bit. And I just want to take a moment over all the explosions to give a heartfelt thank you to Iron Galaxy, all the staff who've been pouring their all their time, all their genius into making such a wonderful, joyous game. Thank you so much. We've had just wonderful, wonderful times. And it's sad that it can't last longer, but I'm really grateful for the time that we had. And thank you to all players of Rumbleverse, everyone who supported this game and everyone who supported our events.
How's it going, everyone? Welcome to The Big Grapple Presents The Invitational, I guess. I don't know. I never came up with an official name besides The Invitational. But I'm super excited to be here. I'm super excited to see the action tonight. I got some great guest commentators joining us. And I wanted to give a, a special thank you to The Young Prince. Uh, you guys can check him out at The YNG Prince at uh, YouTube on YouTube. Great YouTuber, uh, definitely not getting the recognition he deserves, for lack of a, a better term. Um, but he actually created that video. He created the stinger in between in between scene transitions, um, and just did that all out of the kindness of his heart. Just offered to, you know, do that for for this final event. So big ups to the young prince. Definitely made uh, the, the great stinger and, and a, a nice little intro video for us. And big ups to Investigation Cone. You guys will hear from him later on tonight. Uh, IC is busy checking everyone in right now. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I'm assuming everybody here knows, but this is an invite-only tournament. It is the last Rumbleverse event I'll probably ever be running. Um, it's been a great honor to run the big grapple, but... I hand selected about 35 players that I wanted to see compete. Uh, we ended up with 30 of them actually able to compete. And we have $4,313 on the line tonight. Very shortly, I'm going to be revealing to not only you guys, but also the players, the amounts they're going to be playing for, uh, what the prizes are from first to eighth place. We'll be paying out up to eighth place. Um, but yeah, with all that said, let me bring on the boys, Keats and Keenan. Keats, Keenan, welcome to the show. How are you guys doing? Oh, hello. Good evening. Adam, I think you might be muted. I was, but my mute button was not responding. But now I'm good, Waffle. I think. Am I good? You're good. We can hear you. Yay! <laughs> Brock. Yes. You look incredibly handsome. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I trimmed the, the beard. I took off the hair. I see the beard trim. Yeah, yeah. Took, took it all down. Um, Believe me, I noticed. It was too much. It was too much. It became too much. I could have left, well, I could have left too the much beard. In your but... There's too much heat coming through the screen, if you know what I'm saying. Oof, <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, speaking of heat, have you guys seen the payouts yet for the big grapple? Have no. I shown, I've shown Adam. I haven't shown Keats. I just uh, lied. I have seen them. <laughs> I showed I showed Adam like an hour ago, but I haven't seen I haven't uh, Keenan hasn't shown and you guys haven't shown. Uh, the players don't know, so I'm just gonna reveal it right now. Yeah, uh, these are the payouts. You guys should be able to see. By the way, Keats and Keenan, I am sharing yeah. a Discord feed with you guys. Um, I see. You'll see that first place is going to get a whopping one thousand eight hundred fifty-seven dollars. That's forty-three percent of the pot, give or take. Uh, second place that's, is going to get a change. Yeah, it's 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 significant amount of you could buy a car even today with that. That's significant. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, <laughs> not a nice car, but a used junker, absolutely. Uh, that's four second wheels. place at yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's four wheels. <laughs> uh, second place, rocking nine fifty one with about twenty two percent of the pot. Third place, five thirty five, four three twenty nine, fifth two twenty three, sixth one sixty five, seventh one thirty four, eighth one nineteen. You're going to see some weird percentages, but I wanted to make it a point that first place got at least 40% of the pot and eighth place was at least getting a hundred dollars. And this is the, the formula we came up with. It seemed to work. Um, I hope the players are excited about it. I know I'm excited about it. Uh, I have all the money ready to be paid out besides iron galaxies portion. Uh, but they confirm me they're going to be sending that over sometime next week. So hopefully we get the players paid out, uh, re relatively quickly. That would be really mm -hmm. dope. But that's what they're playing for tonight. Mm -hmm. um, there's a huge jump between eighth and first place. And even between second and first place, there, there's a, a significant jump. So winning tonight is going to be pretty important. Yeah, those jumps between first, second, and third are pretty significant. Absolutely. Uh, but I, I think most of the players, if they're in contention for top eight, are going to be really happy if they can just make it into those you know, five to eight slots and, and get a little yep. bit of a you know, thank you payout. Definitely. Yeah, I feel sure. like this also uh, includes, you know, who's, who who we may be seeing in each final ring. Yeah. Um, so before we talk about the scoring system, I just want to 
get give a big shout out to the Rumbleverse community for coming together to donate all the money for this. Yeah, uh, Iron Galaxy thing. did uh, match up to two thousand of it, which is awesome. So shout outs to Iron Galaxy uh, for doing that. Uh, Dave and Adam really appreciate it. But the, the you know the other two thousand three hundred something that that came from all you guys just yeah, donating it in so that we could have a, a great show here. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, this this quite literally would not have been possible without you guys. Iron Galaxy didn't just give us money. They promised to match up to $2,000 compared to what uh, you all donated to, to the pot. So literally without you guys doing that, this wouldn't have been possible. And it's, it's really, really great to see. Uh, but speaking of that scoring system, I kind of want to talk about that. We're going to get started really quickly. In about nine minutes, we're going to be launching game one. Um, but traditionally in, in the history of the Big Grapple, your scoring system was only based on placement. First place got X amount of points, second place, so on and so forth. There wasn't a way to track um, damage done or KOs or any other stat, really. It, it just didn't track in game for custom games. However, right. that's not the case anymore. So I came up with a scoring system that still puts emphasis on winning because I think that's the point of the game is to win. Um, but you're not going to be left out on the cold if you take second, third, or fourth, or et cetera, and you've, um, you know, you've done a ton of damage. So you can see the formula. Whoa, that's a lot of math. That is a lot of math. It's really not that difficult, though. I know. I know it's not. I'll break it down for everyone. Uh, it'll be you'll get 10,000 points based on your placing and your 10,000 points will be uh, divided by your place. So if you take first place, you get 10,000 points divided by one. That's 10,000. So on and so forth all the way down. I'll let you guys do your basic math. Uh, your that's a big drop, done, just to note, you know, second place is, is 10,000 divided by two. So that's 5,000 points. So there's, there's a, a huge significant drop. point difference it be, it there. Becomes, but, yeah, yeah, I was going to say it becomes less and less significant the deeper you go in the scoring. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. But it's still, it still is, you know, significant. Um, right. Your damage done is going to be divided by 10 just to keep things simple. Uh, and your KOs are 100 times the amount of KOs you get. So if you get five KOs, that's 500 points. Um, we add these numbers together. That's your, your final score. You'll see an example on screen now as well. I'll let you guys read that on your own. I'm not going to read it all out to you. I'm sure you can, you can see it for yourselves, but there's a, a good example of how the scoring works. And another slide for some examples of how the scoring would have made a difference in previous big grapples. Um, as you can see, Gifty, Psych, and a Triumph had each one uh, a game with 10 plus perks. So that's a, a crap load of damage. Um, mm -hmm. But the difference between somebody like Seals, who didn't get a lot of damage, and one versus somebody who did get a lot of damage and one is pretty significant, which again is shown in this bottom section on the screen. Now, given yeah, all that really information, uh, do you guys predict things will be played the same? Or do you think there's going to be some adjustments based on the new scoring system? It's not just adjustments based on the new scoring system. There's also new game rules, right? Like things have changed since the last time one of these was run. The, the final ring moves now and always is always shrinking. That's yep. a huge change. You don't build the superstar meter from taking hits anymore either. Another so, huge change. Yeah, another huge change. So I, you know, it was all about survivability before. It was all about the the mighty green pod. But uh, I don't think that that will be the case tonight. And I do expect to see players uh, with a lot of different ideas of what they think the winning style is going to be. And, uh, you know, if we were to run this scoring system for weeks in a row, we might see some trends start to emerge. But I don't know if tonight we'll even have enough time to see trends emerge. Uh, we just are going to see players trying to kind of rock their play style and their, their strategy and how they plan to get into the money. And we'll see if it works out for them. For sure. I'm curious to see how, how folks maybe choose to adapt throughout the competition. Yeah. Uh, if they see see a certain person, you know, taking first, second, third in the first two matches, maybe, hey, maybe there's something I can adapt or learn from. Uh, but there's definitely such a different change up in how the game is competed right now uh, in, in, in the live build. And yeah. we'll see what happens next because uh, we haven't had this consistent of a competitive envi environment since season two of big grapple yeah yeah absolutely that's, true that's very true yeah this is the first time we're going to be seeing this um since the the last big grapple and all those changes have been applied that's also kind of something i thought about when we were coming up with the scoring system as well uh there's there's so many other in-game changes like the moving circle that are mm -hmm. you're not going to want to at least in my opinion you're not going to want to be in that situation where it's you and one other person and the circle's going towards the water and all you can do is hope that you have a bigger timer than them. 
You don't want to be right. in that situation. Um, so I assume players will be fighting to try to avoid that stuff. But I, like you guys said, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> um, ideally, in an ideal world, we would have had several events to try out many different scoring types. But this mm -hmm. is what we got. So this is what we're going to rock with. Yeah, and but it's really important also to note too that since the scoring is different tonight, the players are going to have to be really good about reporting their scores correctly. Um, they have a, a whole process they have to go through with a, a, a photograph and a piece of paper and a secret code and all that stuff to make sure we, we don't do. have any funny business going on. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, players who do not report their scores per the rules in time will get zeros for that that match. Um, which obviously, if you want to get in the money, <laughs> you're not going to want yeah, zeros. You're not going to want to any of these zeros. matches. Um, so that's that's interesting to note as well. And then I also think it's worth talking about before we jump in here. Uh, you know, this is a North America only event uh, because we need to be able to pay out people, and uh, there's some you know legal concerns if we were to open it wider. So while yeah. you are about to see you know 30 plus of of the best players in North America, there are lots of players in North America who are phenomenal and tons of players who are outside of north america who are incredible at this game who won't be making an appearance tonight and i just wanted to shout them out as you know give them some acknowledgement as as wonderful players who uh you know they've been in previous big grapples when money wasn't on the line and uh they always put on a good show and it's really cool that this game can be played with people that far away and still feel pretty good um but tonight is north america only so we're gonna we're gonna celebrate uh, these players in the game tonight and, and see who comes out on top we've got uh, triumph here who I also want to shout out because he won the last two big grapple seasons in a row. The, triple the only big grapple yes. season. The only big grapple <laughs> champion. He's the only big grapple champion, so he's clearly the hands-down favorite to win tonight, but that could be a curse now that money is on the line. If people figure out who Triumph Look, is, do they team up on him, right? Not it's not like a fighting game tournament. If people are worried about Tubbleware in the bracket, they watch his tapes. They still got to beat him one on one, even if they watch his tapes. But that's not the case in this game. They could watch Triumph's tapes, sure, but he could just be fighting ten people all of a sudden if they figure out who he is. Uh, and we'll see if that plays a factor tonight as well, uh, especially if any particular player other than Triumph starts to take the lead. Um, and, and I think that that's all fair in 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 love and war and Rumbleverse. Yeah, I mean, and something else to note is there are some players that haven't either haven't competed before or haven't competed recently in the big grapple like flea guy and casual tay automatic all these players are extremely strong and again yeah. i either haven't played since season one or haven't had the chance to enter the big grapple at all so i'm really really curious to see how that shakes it up things for you know a player like triumph who has dominated you know the, the past two big grapple championships how does he deal with a casual tay and a psychin and an automatic and in a flea guy all of a sudden these players that that weren't there that he may not be as used to fighting against. I think it'll be really interesting to see how that goes. I'm Absolutely. excited with all these names. I'm like all these people in the same lobby. I mean, you see like crossover, well, you know, hanging out and playing throughout the day where you see the same three or yeah. five, maybe in a couple lobbies in a row, but seeing everyone jam packed together. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Yeah. I was watching a couple of people practice today and I kept hearing them kind of coach themselves and be like, Hey, I can't be taking fights this early tonight. There's going to be no loot left by the time mm -hmm. I, you know, like they're aware from playing in previous versions of this, that, these people all know how to move and they know how to loot quick. And if they're not on the spot with it, there just may not be enough stuff for them to find. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to make that whole match a struggle. Uh, so they're already kind of psyching themselves up. But like you said, Keenan, these public lobbies, even if you've got three, four, five of these names in your lobby with you, that's not the same as having 35 yep. <laughs> of them in the lobby with you. It's just <laughs> not. Completely different game. Yeah, totally different game. Hey boys, well, I think it's about that time. I'm going to launch the room and get the players playing. <laughs> I'm going to send them over the awesome. uh, the the codes, and we're going to get going. We have, yeah, number one. We have 29 players tonight, or we have 28 players tonight. Two players are not playing, Osiris and I am one hero. Osiris couldn't make it, and I don't know. No, nobody's able to get a hold of one hero. We don't know where he is. Uh, apparently, he's streaming, but he's not responding, so I, I guess he can't play. Um, so we're in a world of 28 that we have. Well, yeah, good we'll luck to all the competitors. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Make it a great show. Um, have fun and stuff. And thank you very much to Tubbleware and Investigation Cone.
for doing this and the community for donating and Iron Galaxy for matching and uh, I'm really excited to see the matches and see how the scoring works out and all of it. I'm just amped. Yeah, I'm I'm I, I feel it already. Directly after the big grapple, I'm gonna wanna go back and watch because there's just gonna be so much gold within all of these matches. For sure. I love this group. Meet back here after the match for Orange Slices Got personal players in already. yours truly. There should be 29 total in this room when we're done. Uh, per big grapple rules in general, if we have like one person sitting out, that's just tough titties. We're going to have to keep it going. Um, this is free to enter, by the way, for everyone that, that was invited. There's no money involved on their side. All the prize pot was generated by the, the community and Iron Galaxy. So these players are, are losing nothing if they aren't able to participate. Okay, hopefully well, we get in the lobby here. so far. Yeah, we got 12 in. If we, like I said, if we don't, if we don't, if we're missing a significant amount of people. I will relaunch. We started, but yeah. if it's if it's one person, then can't do it. I'm sticking down. You guys better get in here. <laughs> yeah, I might have to relaunch. I should have probably set the timer to five minutes. Yeah, probably. also hard to let them know that they need to join a different one once you have to close one as well since they're all kind of focused on trying to play all right we're missing five now you think we're playing with this many then if we get to 27 or 28 yeah but Otherwise, i don't i don't want to miss out yeah i don't want to miss out on that many players that Seems silly in game one. 25. It's probably going to lock people out here in about 15 seconds. There, we got them. There we yes. go. We got them. All right, we're launching. I'll, uh, I'll set the next one to five minutes just to be sure, because I don't want to call cool. it close. But yeah, we're, we're going to be missing one. <laughs> Somebody didn't right. make it. Oh, yeah, that stinks. If I'm recalling correctly, with with... 28 or 29 uh that's an adjusted ring size from the get-go right yeah it should, yeah, should be a little bit so smaller. it should be a little smaller than usual a little less loot than usual as well interesting brock's gonna go ahead and throw his character into the water so he can spectate for us and then we will uh see what we see won't we mm -hmm. i'm curious to see if anyone's Maybe feeling confident enough to rock their typical outfit. Or if everyone's going to be random in it up. Or maybe someone uh, tries to dress up as someone else's regular outfit. Like, oh, I, I think I know how, how Frosted Phoenix may play. Yep, we got uh, Frosted Phoenix laying right next to Flea Guy. So we'll see if they get into any type of skirmish or if they're going to respectfully loot. Frosted Phoenix pockets the uh, yellow powder first, then drinks one. Maybe trying to make sure it's safe around to drink. Mm -hmm. The guy moving underneath is now at the train station. We have contact. <laughs> oh boy, this is huge. You want to rack yeah, up that right damage and get those points right off the bat. Taking nice, the time nice with the books. Yep, I was able to get one. Yeah, nice, nice, satisfactory perk to start. We're trying to sneak in a dive kick. Good dodge from Flea Guy. Good reactions. Flea Guy's reactions are very good. Yeah, definitely one of his stronger points. And then they back off of each other. They're just like, you know, what? Loot. Respect. It's not time for this. It's a very respectful <laughs> gameplay. You wouldn't see something like this in the wild usually. So a little, little no. early fight like that is usually to the death. No, if it's <laughs> if it's a pub game, we're fighting to the death. That's it. All right, Frostix Phoenix is uh, walking past Katana Prime right now. They're also going their separate ways. No more skirmish there. See an explosion to the left. Looks like we have. Uh, Lawless, Lawless is in a little fight over here. Yeah. Lawless is really hurt. Lawless, hopefully, hoping that they uh, get Superstar Meter or something there. Frosted Phoenix did not want to press. You know, your uh, red pods, your arms, they're not going to contribute to your perk meter, right? But they are going to contribute to your final damage number, which is going to contribute to your score. Mm hmm. So it definitely ups the value of the red pods in this competitive format here. Checking out Lariat God right now. Definitely dressed as Lariat God. 
Fucking the season that. one outfit. <laughs> this is what he's always worn, as far as I know. Yeah, he hasn't been as active in season two. He uh, had some real life stuff come up, but this is yeah, this is his outfit. He's not afraid. He wants people to know this is who I am. Huge difference between his stat loadout and Frosted Phoenix at this point in the game. Frosted Phoenix really only had you know two three pods at this point. Eric God has got eight already. He's he's gonna try to do a five five zero build. It looks like so. He's trying to find one more green, one more red. He's got the Omega Cyclone Dolphin Dive combo as well, which is an extremely potent combo, one of my favorites. Uh, the Cyclone is great for chewing up crowds and punishing dodges, and then, of course, you can get that free Dolphin Dive combo afterwards. It's our lead designer. Nice, you uh, can just say it. It's the best combination in the game. Uh, it's it, definitely it one is. of the best combinations in the game. It is. It's the best. It's one don't, of the I, best. It's good. I don't think any move combination is more versatile than... Omega Cyclone Dolphin Dive. Larry got his tripping over purple books at this point, too, and those are really not that common. <laughs> so his loot game has been very strong. Checking out I've Been a Hitter. Okay, we're back to Larry God. Oh, here we go. We got uh, the great Kingini, a.k.a. Kinder, Kinder Party. Party. The, uh, the self-proclaimed jobber of the event. He said it, not me. Yeah, he well, he's in trouble. <laughs> he, he Already, yeah. popping the heal, or he's going to just keep that superstar meter as insurance. At this point in the game, I, th I feel like that's what I would expect out of most players here. But we'll we'll see how he, he operates with it. Soon. Yeah, the ring is still big enough, Keenan, that he might be hopeful of finding food. Right. But I think if the ring were a bit smaller, maybe he'd make that choice. Although there are a lot of stars around, too. So one strategy could be to pop now and then replenish, you know, over half that meter with the stars that are kind of littered about. The thing about around the grapple, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Keenan. I was say, especially since he's around the Grappadol building, I, I'd just be too afraid of any chances. I don't want to get caught yeah. out by a random elbow, then get chased down by someone that has some, you know, more stamina pods than me. I'd be too afraid, uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how these competitors approach it. Even though he chose to sit down in the popcorn party, you saw the camera movement there. It was pretty erratic. He was really watching himself to make sure he wasn't going to get snuck up on. Good elbow drop follow-up. That puts uh, EX Kunai Thrower. Who is that? <laughs> is that realistic. Is, that is realistic, uh, realistic mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Realistic uh, already has to use the super for a comeback and is now scurrying away from Kinder Party. All right, fun, Kinder Party fun missed little story. bounce pad. Fun little story about that interaction. I... Uh... I was in realistic stream chat the other day, and we were talking about the the invitational. And mm -hmm. I said everybody invited can win the event, except for maybe one person. And I didn't name who it was. I didn't yeah. name who it was. But realistic's immediate response was, "Why you got to do Kinder Party like that?" So the <laughs> fact that Kinder Party kind of just did it to him, and now our realistic is dead. That's that's pretty funny. Oh, he died. Stepdad Ryan got him. I yeah, see. he's he's cooked now. That's a hundred points for Stepdad Ryan, right? Nice trying to line up a that. sample throw that's not going to hurt very much, very carefully. <laughs> there it gods here. Oh, with the big charge, block, misses yeah. it, but Great block. off the edge to safety. <laughs> yeah. Even if that I'm hits, you talk about 30 damage or something. He just wanted to hear the smack noise. Yes. Okay. Oh, Check it out. Uh, Larry got in a little fight with Frosted Phoenix here. Huge damage from Frosted Phoenix coming out yeah, that right hurts. now. Frosted Phoenix still really behind in the pod game, though. 104 is the current build. No pods in the pockets to fill up on. Uh, Great healing perks, though. Yeah, really good healing perks. Uh, incredibly perked out, but probably needs to catch up on the pods just to, to make that end game fruitful. Got a couple reds there. It's really good. Probably going for a 505 build, it looks like. Seven. Let's see. I, I, I feel like pile on the damage. Yeah, at this point in the game, um, if you're shopping for greens, it, it may be tough if you see a couple of reds in your line of sight. Like Maybe that's just mm -hmm. the choice you got to go with. Yeah, especially, like we said, loot's so scarce in this type of uh, environment. And the ring is getting small already, you know. It starts a little smaller and there's a little less loot than usual because of the player count. Mm -hmm. All that stuff needs to factor into your choices about which pods you do and don't take. I'd rather have two filled slots than two empty slots, no matter what color they are. Exactly. Frosted Phoenix is really going through it here now. Chill is putting the damage on him. Oh, what a big content drop out of nowhere from Stepdad Ryan. He scurries off into the distance as well. Frosted Phoenix trying to find a safe spot to heal. Checks the dumpster. Found a green book. Switched over to Flea Guy. 
you have Flea is up to. Flea guy sees Frosted Phoenix. Frosted Phoenix did get the heal off, but here comes Flea guy with the trash can. Huge throw. Nice catch. <laughs> Frosted Phoenix does get away this time. Flea guy chooses not to pursue. Maybe he saw too many people down there and didn't want to press into a crowd. I respect that for sure. Pocketing some books just to have things to throw. Moving over to Chill. Got some pocket chicken on Chill. Chill went with the 055 build. We're seeing a lot of build variety already in this first game. Yeah. Maybe you're taking out gutter magic off stream. Very nice. Katana Thanks Prime, not, not the great King Genie, to, to be clear. Right, there's two KPs in here. There's Katana Prime and Kinder Party. Also, Very RV confusing. Messiah is Pink Lip. That is actually Pink Lip. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Popcorn Party just came out of that trash can. Very lucky for Chill. Nice touch. Touch. Chill and tried to grab him. <laughs> Casual day. Hey. I was, I, was tag. I didn't see the name. Day is super Ooh. scary, man. What a what a what an incredible yeah. player. Most of the top players I talk to, who I consider like the best in the business, consider Casual Tay the best in the business. So that uh, says a lot. He's, he's pretty good. Level. He's, he's the yeah. only player that I am legitimately in a one v one. I'm not sure if I can beat them. Any other right. player that I've ran into that I've played against, I either have beaten them or I've I've downed them. So I know that I can do damage. Like Tay, I, I don't know if I've ever even gotten close. That dude is so played in the tournament, Brock. Uh can't do that. My own tournament. Could have been a winner. <laughs> oh, the patience from Tay and the reaction with the broom stuff. Look where he went AFK for a second and then Flea Guy eats the damage. Tay laughing on the ground. Get what a, a little brave little thing to do there. with not enough meter and that little health. Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly disrespectful gameplay. I like 56K, it. K, the I people's champ. Moving in on Chill. Chill's in a sandwich right now. Oh, it's a bad wall splat, but gets lucky. 56k misses the Titan Rush. Oh my god, Chill is in the blender Chill right now. Chill is getting mixed. Oh, oh Tay switches off. Tay Tay changes target targets. Betrayal. There's no Rocky friends Phoenix in Capital City. Of course, of course not. 56k trying to emote some meter up. Ring's getting pretty small. We're gonna go to final ring next step here. Uh, 15 people left. A lot more aggression than we've seen in past uh, big grapples for sure already. Yeah, I think the the smaller starting amount of players kind of has something to do with that as well. Yeah, it definitely. The smaller helps. starting circle was gonna force you into more situations. Yeah, but even in big grapples before, we'd be in the final rounds and some people had dropped out because they couldn't win anymore and we were starting with about this many people our final rings would still have 25 people on them sure yeah uh we're down to 15 already Nine, eight. we got one more to go oh <laughs> all right nice evade from triumph almost Ooh. picks up the combo off the back toss yeah mr hospitality does get away with it though gonna keep moving Pockets are looking kind of barren on uh, a couple of these players here. They have some things to throw, but nothing to eat. So some of these players' journeys are going to come to an end rather sharply. Full Bakery does have a, uh, a full lineup, though. Got full pockets, got moves. Has a nice little 5-2-3 yeah. setup. That's that's pretty good. Full pockets of books. <laughs> hey, those are, those are useful later. Frosted Phoenix right next to him, and stepdad Ryan whiffs a poison mist in the air, drops down to the ground in the pit. We'll call this area the pit. So you can either be on top or you can be down here in the pit. We got three or four players in the pit, 56k modem, eating a broom combo. Stepdad Ryan wants to get out of here. Lee guy is up on the edge right next to him, just going around the corner. I don't know if he went up or not. Somebody stepdad run Ryan out bakery. In. Yep, edge KO'd Mr. Hospitality as well. I really dig this as a, as, a, as a final ring because you got your everyone's boxed in. You got a couple different high layers, but they're all from the outside, so it's gonna be a lot of a lot of times you have to look up. Who saved Rumbleverse? I don't know. I was actually that's that. that's right. um. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask the investigation going after this one. Still got DQ'd by Ring Out. Oh, so. that's, that's, that's Emperor Mole. Gotcha. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, for those of you asking yeah. why there's only 28 players, we had 30 players that were supposed to come, and two dropped out at the end of at the end of uh, or at the last minute. But I see a few of you asking out there. So there there's supposed to be 30 today. 
but there's 28 now. And Saiken, I guess, couldn't get into this first game, so oh, there's bummer. that. I saw Chilgut DQ'd, but it's, it's worth noting that uh, nobody got credit for that KO. So, no no 100 points for whoever. Whole, whole Bakery uh, as well also got DQ'd, but I, I don't think anybody got credit for it. It just said he was DQ'd. So this was the only game we were playing. We'd be one place away from being in the money. Top eight and better do get paid. Oh, we're playing a series of five games. Nice it catch is. off the wall. RV Messiah is pink lip ice cream. Oh, hopefully you guys are going for a ride. That's big damage, 395. He's going to be really hurting. Edge looking for a spot to get that stamina back. Does find a moment. Oh, oh not boy. that long of a moment. Six, five. Checks out the purple book before coming back to the ring. Didn't want it. Got a nice little place to stand here. Nice Does aggressive build rude. there. Yeah, rude and six red. That's eight red, essentially. Yeah. Not the most Except damaging Ryan special only moves. 13 health. Let's see if we can get a view of him. Guy taking out Gregory. I can't get a view on. Oh, there he is. Okay. Also, only at three seconds. Doesn't have the superstar either. This could be an early exit for Stepdad Ryan, who took second place last year or last season in the big grapple. I guess last. No, it was this year. Second January. He should not have meditated. He had 69 health, which was nice. And now he has 93 health, and now he's dead. So that well, was a huge mistake. Zero health. Should have stayed with 69 health, in my opinion. Casual Tay and Frosted Phoenix clashing again. Frosted Phoenix ended up almost finishing the build over time. Had some troubles early on. Oh, the looting pace was kind of slow, but here we are in the, in the top seven. Oh, hey, he's right in the middle of all the action. Oh, yeah. risky. Middle spot. Does not get wall splat, though. No one wants to be stuck in the middle of this group of folks yeah i think you really only want to be in the middle here if uh your ring out timer's low and <laughs> you're trying to make sure you don't get dq'd mm -hmm. but if you do hug a wall you know you're gonna have to contend with a camera that gets closer to you and it can make it a little harder to see as well right right oh tries to punish larry god for that instead of doing the team combo well, we haven't had triumph. a triumph yet. Triumph with just a little bit of health left, but a lot of resources. Has to find a moment to use it. It's a tough ring to find spots to eat in. It's really not a lot of spots. You know, I'm curious if Triumph goes with any of his normal stream builds of like 10 red, 10 green, 10 yellow. I'm curious yeah, if he deep. applies any of that. Historically, I feel like greens have treated him very well in, yes. in all the big grapples. Yeah, and I feel like he probably got that meditate perk that he's got in his second slot real early and was just like, yep, going green. Mm. And, uh, he did find a moment to meditate there, so he's able to get half of his health without burning any of those resources. He's going to yeah. eat half of the big chicken. Uh, the reason the players will do that is because when you eat a small chicken or a half chicken, once it's done eating, your hands are empty oh, now and you can fight. Yep. Whereas if you eat a big chicken, uh, chicken will still be in your hands after one bite and that can get you in trouble. So Trying like really like stretching his timer thin. He really is. Gonna make it harder to play this kind of position next to the edge because Flea Guy could just toss him out and DQ him. Nah, Flea Guy, I don't really knew that. that. He was on the bottom when Triumph's yep. timer appeared, so he probably doesn't even know. Yeah, he might not know. That's very true. And look at this top four. We have Tay, Flea Guy, Triumph, and Taken Memory. The best players are already winning. <laughs> and for the big combo on Tay. He's the poison on him. So you guys swinging this golf club up here. Well, you guys got to feel good holding that high ground. Yeah. Watch it, watching the full situation, studying up to see how he's going to approach the fight, probably. Yep, and Triumph has a lot of weapons as well. It's a great thing to have when you're trying to guard your stamina. Like having any resources at this point uh, puts you at a really big uh, advantage. Yep, easy to get Never. that pipe back without making it too obvious. There mm -hmm. we go. 
And the ring is on the move. We are headed north, it looks like. Northish? Northwestish? Yeah. yeah, a direction. They all end up in water. Eventually, yes. We will see if this Big one makes damage. it there. Big stun. Somebody else takes advantage of it. Taking memory. Ooh. Oh, huge. Traff gets away with this. Trying to get back in the ring to watch that timer. Popcorn party is in play. Casual Tay is feasting. So is Triumph. Everyone's in the party now. Flea guy's here trying to get some too. <laughs> Everyone wants to share. I like the Flea guy just walked in and did nothing. He just blocked. He's like, I don't want. I don't want to fight. I'm just here for the <laughs> party. Could be health that's a factor, but it really could be that ring out at this point when the moving ring uh, is doing its thing. It's it's much more often that people die to disqualification than than uh, health. I'd like to point oh, out so that every player, spot, oh, that is spot. every Very player nice. here right now has a fast strike. Every single one. Yep. It is it is critical at high level to have a fast strike special move. I think Definitely the only critical for a one v one. The only vicious I'm seeing right now is choke slam. I think everyone else opted for the double strikes. Yeah, especially yeah, if you get brain buster, a lot of people will go for a double strike. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't yeah, call Poison Mist Uppercut a good. double strike either. I would call that strike power move, because power move is a pretty different function. Oh, right, right, right. And that's a really good thing to carry, too, because all these top players are pocketing weapons, and they're all really good with them. So having a power yep. move to kind of trump that is pretty pretty crucial sometimes. And you'd yeah. have to imagine Intei's pockets are probably a rocket of some sort and maybe a dive of some sort. Those are usually books you're going to want to hold on to till, towards the end. Right, it would be the idea. water. Lee guy with nothing in the pockets does have a full super though. It's got rocket. <laughs> if he can survive to the water. Oh, here comes Triumph. Flea guy is able to do a spin jump to get back in. Yes, it's called a spin jump, not a halo jump. <laughs> oh, nice uppercut. Oh, oh, okay, all right. And the bounce How back. rude. <laughs> Just taking that damage. That's actually significant That's in close. the format. Stealing damage yeah. from someone matters. Yeah, he just stole uh, like a dozen points or something from Triumph. So the guy found a spot to meditate using that meditate buff. Feels twice as fast. And we got some flat ground here. There's going to be some serious oh, action quite. for a moment before we get to the Ooh. next building. Triumph is forced to use the comeback. That's a tough position. Yeah, he does have the chicken in pocket, but is he ever going to get a chance to use it? Probably not. Oh. Interrupted. That would have done so much more damage. And he gets to live because of it. Four seconds left for his ring out timer. Yeah, try, try just fi trying to find his place to, to hide now. Yeah, chicken, yeah. Look at the movement from Tay all over the place. Flea guy can smell the blood. He's going after Triumph. He can, and he's got the rocket to chase. Yeah, feeling confident with the movement. There he goes. Oh, Triumph out of Triumph third. is out of here. Tay versus Flea guy. Oh, the book hit. Stumble. That could be it. Oh. That, Can that, you make it around the building? He has rocket. Time? He has rocket. Oh, he's got too. nine. He's got nine. Seven. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, Tay deals with the multi levels. Mm -hmm. Still rocking, empowering roar. By the way, that's that's hilarious. Has Tay had that the whole time? I mean, he has other books in his pocket, so maybe he's just waiting for the right moment. But yeah, that's what he's been no, rocking. I, think, I, I think believe. He, I, Oh, I, I thought he swapped to it more recently. Oh, maybe he did. Yeah, I, I know he had books in the pocket. Oh, boy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. He's stuck. stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. Hey, no, not like this. Okay, he uses the move to get out of there. Good. <laughs> that, that was almost so disappointing for Tay. Yeah, it would have been. Oh, Flea oh, eats the, the book. book. <laughs> the bounce. Gonna grab the sign here? No, no, no time, time to do yeah. so. Flea guy's on. Flea guy's, every read is correct from Flea guy at the moment. I played against Flea guy and it nice. feels like. Wait that. a minute. Pulling him back, back into the ring though. Tried to fake picking up the item. That was I like cool. The ski jump from Flea guy, getting the, the mm -hmm. sign pick up quickly. Oh, that's gonna hit. And get into the tree. We have popcorn party. Are we going to use it? Now's the time. We're not going to use it. We're going to let nope. the. I mean, uh, Flea guy has rocket too. Like using that isn't even safe in the tree. 
That's true. I keep forgetting about that. I've been watching Tay's streams a lot there recently. He's been using uh, the roars specifically to try to try to punish folks and get a get a wall splat in unpredictable um, unpredictable situations. Yeah, you can get wall splats with them and get real damage. Uh, people don't see it coming a lot. So you got traded a couple of ring out seconds to get some heals there. Mm -hmm. The mix. I'll pick it up. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's bait. Oh my god, no punish. Okay. Good dodge. They looking to probably use that roar to. Oh, never mind. Wouldn't have to take the weapon away. Yeah, you don't want to let him have that weapon back. Good reactions and. No stamina break. One stamina. Out. One stamina. Oh, let me stand. Not gonna oh, matter now, so though. I'm good, folks. Yeah, there's the break. <laughs> and now Flea's can gonna be able to protect back. the circle. Can he make it back? Oh, yes, he Ooh, can. Nice We're swinging. Thing. That was actually sick. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, Flea's gonna take it. Guy. Oh, he he's lets him live. He's throwing. Oh, what are you doing out there, Flea? Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> do it, do he it. almost threw that there. hard. Almost that extra hard. Flea guy taking game one. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty excited. Impressive start by everyone. We'll have to For see sure. what the points look like uh, since it's not just placements anymore. We won't actually know what the score looks like for a couple minutes here. Yep. As our last few players report. <laughs> Tay is in the, the big grapple chat. So I forgot to take a pick. Well... Uh, if you forget to take a pick, you get no points, right? <laughs> I mean, we I have it on stream. I don't have to screw him like that. But you can't you can't get the damage in the elims though, right? You can only get the I, placement. I, I, I just the had them on stream because they're second and first place. It, it's okay. Uh, I don't have to be a, like a strictler jerk about it. But yeah, if that was not on stream. That's that's a problem. So let's yeah, but you like, like you literally can't see his damage dealt. I can see Man, his perks. Right? I can see his perks. Right, but that's not equivalent to damage dealt. Uh, we can round down to damage dealt, absolutely. Why couldn't we? It, oh, it's just because of arm spots. But yeah, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. I mean, it's better than him a, getting nothing. If there's a specific chat, I feel like we should encourage folks, if they can, just record their gameplay. They don't have to stream or whatever, but record yeah. it so you can at least go back to it. You know what I mean? Yep. Man, what a start, though. And I'm really glad to see uh, Triumph making it to top three, like, remaining consistently at the top there. Yeah, we'll have to see how the damage and the KOs factor in. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. of course. I don't know what uh, Investigations Cone's score sheets will look like for this time, but uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of the details and actually be able to comb through it a little bit and be like, oh, man, so-and-so did all this damage. Yeah. That'd be cool. Sorry, I'm talking to Investigation Cone about this right now. Okay, no problem. What you gotta do? Yeah, we'll we'll keep chatting it up on here. The uh, final ring did not make it to the water. Yeah, it did it not resolve beforehand. And but, uh, uh, I think Flea Guy had Sumo Slap Rocket Jump at the end. Is that right? He did. He had Green Sumo Slap and Blue Rocket. Yeah. Sumo persists. Sumo's still good, man. I tell no you. One, no one can't say it's not good. It just won a match <laughs> in the big grapple. <laughs> I think it's an important move still. You know, it, it's not what it used to be. Thank goodness. But for yeah, wearing, pe wearing people down and, you know. Knocking that stamina down on block and having that fast move, it's really good. Alright, so what's going to happen is Investigation Cone is going to um, go look at my VODs and we'll award mm -hmm. a points for up to as many perks as he had. So if he had, you know, 12 perks, it'll be how many ever damage points that takes. Um, we're not going to really get the exact number for him, obviously. Uh, and from now on, if anybody doesn't have that stuff, I'm just going to give him zeros. So I can't you know, continually go back in VODs and try to do that for everyone. That's definitely that's uh, the way it should Tay's, be. Tay's sure. taking responsibility. He recognizes it was his own fault. He was willing to take uh, zeros. But 
from now on, just so everyone knows, we can't keep doing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a really, really great game. Of, uh, when they know they're cooked, they press start yeah, you, and they you exit. Just leave. You, just leave. you can't do that in the big grapple or you won't be able to report your scores. Exactly. Um, so while Investigation Going is doing that, I'm going to throw up a quick video for you guys to watch. Uh, it's the same one as before, but we need to kill time so IC can do that. So I'm going to throw the video up. And cool. then uh, I'm going to step away for a moment and use the bathroom, and then we'll be there. We should be back in time. Sweet. Cool. I have returned. All right, so apologies for not knowing the full format, but do you recall how many matches are being played today? Five. Five. Okay, cool. Five matches. I was wondering if it was going to be treated like that that final uh, match or final tournament of the season type deal. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be five games, and the way the scoring works is uh, there's a, a formula that kind of factors in your finishing place, how much damage you dealt, and how many uh, eliminations you got, and outputs a score for you. And the formula is pretty simple. It's uh, 10,000 points divided by your oh, placement. Where are we at on scoring? Hey, I don't know. Second, I'm just uh, telling people how the scoring works. Uh, so yeah, it's 10,000 points divided by your placement for your uh, placement scoring. So first place is 10,000 points because 10,000 divided by one is 10,000. But 10,000 divided by two is 5,000. So you'll get uh, a lot less the the lower you uh, finish. Mm -hmm. And then you'll take your damage and divide that by 10. So, you know, if you were able to get uh, 1,000 okay. damage, uh, you can get 100. Case, 100, 100 scoring. Okay, cool. Would have been and done, then Elim's but, you know, things points. happened. Oh. Only one game has been played so far. Saw a question in the chat. Let me actually pull up the score sheet so you guys can see it. Yes, please. Whoa. 
<laughs> I saw fun facts in there. All right, that's where you said now. Keenan, Keith, are you guys there? Yeah, yeah, we're here, dude. Hello, hey. hello. We've been talking to you the whole time. Test, test. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear us? We've been talking to you the whole time, like you, you could hear us. We are talking. That other, yeah, we were telling people how the scoring worked. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, the other page had fun facts on it. What's going on with the fun facts? Oh, I think there we you go. Might have it I understand. Muted. <laughs> you finally hear us? No, there I can go. hear you. My, my my computer muted you guys for some reason. I don't know why. Huh. But anyways, there we go. I can hear you guys now. Okay, so we got some points here. So we can see how it is all playing out. Uh, Flea Guy with uh, 11,649 points. So that's mm -hmm. a, a big lead. Casual Tay uh, with 6,170 points. And you can see as it, as it goes down there, um, they're all pretty much in the order of the placements, right? So the, the damage numbers made a little bit of a difference, but nobody was really able to put out enough damage to outrank somebody in a spot above them. Um, well, I mean, we wouldn't actually of... know that. <laughs> it's hard to I say. I mean, for, for this one game, I'm oh, okay, looking at the okay, scores. Yeah. So. I got you. Yes, we can say that. I understand what you mean now. Um, but yeah, yeah. Over, over the course of five games, that's when those points are really going to matter. And yeah, add for up sure. And stack up. They'll definitely add up and matter. But, uh, you know, there's no instances, at least in this one game, of anyone placing higher than they placed, I think. Or maybe there was, actually. I don't know. Absolutely. I don't have time to look at it. We'll look at it later. It's not that big cool. of a deal. It's pretty unimportant. Yeah, right. Actually, no, I think Nerf Meditate outranked his finishing place based on the damage he got. Are we headed straight into the next game? Yep, we are going in right now. Sweet. Cool. There was a page on there that had fun facts on it, and I, I want to see that later. Yeah, yeah. We're, well, I'm going to bring those up when we go on a break later. Okay, cool. <laughs> got teased with fun facts, and I got to know what they are. What's a, what's a fun fact about you, Adam? I am the lead designer of Rumbleverse. That is pretty fun. What a fun fact. How about you? Um... This game is broken. Here's another fun fact about me while you're thinking. Yeah. I've been power bombed through steel chairs. How about you, Keenan? I have. You know what? Actually, that's a good memory that you just reminded me of. There's one time I was wrestling on my uh, on my bed, uh, my cousins when I was younger, and the bed frame completely broke. Oh yeah, like they're not they're not built for that. Yeah, why your eyes like that? <laughs> I was smoking? just like, hey no, mom, I'm sorry, I broke the bed. Some smoking, some <laughs> smoking weed. When I was doing backyard wrestling uh, with my friends in high school, we uh, got in contact with a mattress store that was throwing out some old box springs that they didn't need anymore. And we were able to take those, and we built a makeshift wrestling ring out of box springs and uh, carpet foam and cardboard. And it made a really good noise when you landed on it, and it like took all the impact out of everything. So you really couldn't feel anything when you landed on it. It was great. Uh, and in... in Wrestling noise equals pain. So the louder it is when you when you land on that mat or when you stomp when you punch or whatever, uh, the better. Um, so it was a pretty easy thing to like store in my parents' basement and take down and set up whenever we wanted to to do our thing. And uh, <laughs> then we just throw it out in the yard and start slamming each other on it as traffic drove by. How did you even like approach the store? Like, hey, by the way, we like wrestling. If you have some stuff to give away like how, how did that conversation come about i don't remember how we did it but we just told you know we're like hey if you're throwing out mattresses or box springs we could take them from you so you don't have to like pay for pickup or whatever <laughs> you know don't have to pay any disposal fees and we were able to get uh i think we had six box springs that we were able to make a ring out of <laughs> See, this is That's this cool. is why i made the room three minutes last time because in one minute this time we had 26 people join <laughs> that's okay we'll just fill time and chat with each other no biggie well, yeah i'm beautiful just you know stating you my purpose on what i did and why and i'm not upset about it 
I wonder if anyone's in like competitive mode thinking right now on the barge like I'm gonna scope out outfits see if I see anyone to recognize maybe well, identify. There's people like take a memory and whole bakery who will dress up as other players so right. yeah, even yeah. even that's not <laughs> I can be very like risky too way. I can get you targeted yeah so the strategy is already ongoing it yeah. never stops really <laughs> With money on the line, these players definitely got to be thinking about how to make sure there are no players tonight who win two games. Because if somebody wins two games, they're probably going to win tonight. Uh, investigation going did some some math re regarding mm -hmm. that. Uh, Big math. That's that's not true with the scoring system the way it is now. And so they're guaranteed. Uh, I said they're get, probably going to win. You, you well, it's not even it's not even a probably anymore. Oh, really? There's, there, there's situations where if you win two games and someone else wins two games or even just one game but outscores you consistently, it, it can be an issue. If two so, people win two games, I would agree that they're both in contention to win. <laughs> well, that's that's what we had last time, too, though. Yes. And then it, it came down to a situation where uh, Stepdad Ryan and Triumph, they were the only ones that could win. That shouldn't yes. happen anymore. Shouldn't. But. We'll see. <laughs> if one person wins two games and nobody else wins two games, I think that that person is very, very likely to win. Not, well, it's not impossible to stop them, we'll but see. very likely to win. We'll see what happens. I assumed it went without saying that if two people won two games, that they would both be in contention. Well. This is the internet. The you have to say exactly what you mean to make sure no one else can dispute it. <laughs> I suppose. In any, in any way, shape, or form. And, and you have to give caveats and resources to each thing that you state. And great, we have our, our 29. Happy to see him. Yeah, we got everybody. Saiken was able to make it this time. Yay! Saiken is a big bummer. player to not have in that first game. That could have gone very differently if Saiken was there. Always a bummer when one of the players can't make it in. Mm. But he's here now, so he's got four games to <laughs> to win. If yeah. he wins in four games, all of y'all got to be ashamed. That would be incredible. He's got to definitely make sure he shakes off the frustration and disappointment of not being able to get into the first one. Right, for sure. Yeah, you can't let that affect you. You just have to keep moving. Yep. But we have all the players in this game. We're going to get a Kraken, minus those that couldn't show up. What about the Kraken? Uh, you guys never revealed anything about that, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. Orlando's, I hope five different players win so each game when we walk away out of it it's like at the very end yeah that, that, that would like, yeah that would be that, that's ideal that's the dream world right yeah 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 to be a player who's strong enough to win multiple games in this group you know out of five is is pretty phenomenal yeah it's, it's a huge compliment yeah no one hit me please Turn around, you dumbass. He won't turn <laughs> around. There you go. It's easy to turn around if you like veer left or right hard first rather than holding back. For what it's worth. Are realistic. Is he EX Kunai thrower or is he X Kunai thrower? Like he used to be a Kunai thrower, but he's not anymore. X Kunai well, thrower, I think. It's EX. It's EX. Is it? It is. Yeah, because he plays Ibuki. Right, he and... used to, but now he plays Rumbleverse, where he does not well, throw Kunai. So yeah, but be he's, gonna be kunai he's going to be throwing Kunai again in Street Fighter 6. We'll um, see about that. It's, it's not an X. It's it's something that he plans to do in the future. Is Ibuki in that? Uh, whoever is a ninja-like character is probably who he's going to play, I would imagine. Okay, gotcha. Oh, he's, got, playing, uh, he's playing Kimberly Kimber during yeah. the beta. That makes yeah. sense. Automatic. This is the player that I wanted to see play in a big grapple the most. I'm glad that he is able to make it. Was he in the last game? 
He was in the last game. Yeah. You just didn't get a view of him. He died too quickly. Or was this in a different spot of the map? Either way. I think yeah. automatic and maybe 56k is like the reason that people are ski jumping now. Because it's been in right. the game since day one. It's just not something that was maybe extremely well known or really used, but the, the way Automatic uses it is inspired the rest of the community to start using it. Agreed. Uh, for those of you out there that don't know what a ski jump is, anytime you see a player jump at the same time as picking up an item, uh, that technique was found by Ski Sonic way back in week one, I believe. Um, yeah, like day one. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's really useful for, for grabbing items on the, on the go. Uh, you can also do cute little things like pick up a weapon and immediately go into the air vicious attack uh, since you're technically airborne. So you, you can do mm. cute little things like that with it as well. Uh, in in team modes, that. it's really great for reviving teammates. That's time to come and play here, but uh, that's another use for it. Yeah, I remember Ski hit me up and he was just like, I found it. I found a thing. <laughs> like He shows me what it is. And then he's like, I'm going to name it something. I forget what he said, but it wasn't Ski Jump. And I was like, just call Ski Jump. <laughs> it's so much cleaner. Uh, I wish I remember what he had tried to name it, though. It was really funny. Look at these same outfits fighting each other. One large, one small. It's father and son. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, I mean, this is an identity battle here. Oh, oh gets it blocked. Heavy nerves, you don't want to get those blocked. Spin kicks are very unsafe on block. Yeah, automatics can be like automatic trying to make there. some room. We've got our magics coming in. Pops to say safe. I'm through curious the chicken away trying to create space. I'll go ahead, Keenan. I'm curious how many how many uh, keyboard and mouse players there are today. I know automatic, automatic is, is one. one. Yep. Um but how, outside of that, I don't I don't know. Uh out of the names. Automatic's having a real hard time. Finding uh, some safety here. Yeah. Being he's had some places to leave, and he's choosing not to. He's going back. You can't can't put right. it on him anymore. He's had plenty of opportunity to get out of the situation. He's tempted by that green pot on the floor. Yeah. The tough situation is surrounded by absolute monsters. Hopefully, he can hit these uh, emote pads and, and get some of that meter back and get himself into into shape. But his resources yeah, are dwindled. He needs probably about 200, 300 more HP to guarantee a super. So he's got time. Here we go. Taking memory dressed as uh, Meowy. Watching his back pretty well. Finds a book. We're going to switch over to Chill. Chill going to the dumpsters of destiny? No? I don't think people know about the, the true dumpsters. Know about the dumpsters of destiny. The one true dumpsters. I don't think they know. Completely ignores the dumpsters of destiny. Shameful. I'm telling you, man, not everybody knows. They don't know the truth. And all the items are in front of it as well. Mm hmm. Pink RV Messiah. Do you know who this is? It's Pink Lip. Okay, it's Pink Lip. Great. I remember that now. Pink Lip with the Sumo Slap Vicious Mist combo. Not a lot of damage potential here. Uh, Looking for space to breathe. Yeah. Yeah, he pops super to get out of the situation. Chills putting pressure on him. Yeah. Nine, I feel like I saw in the last match a lot of zero five five, five zero five, Nine, fives. Eight. But in this match, I feel like I'm seeing more mix mix pod builds. I'm yeah, actually surprised players to see KP using health. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. use health normally. He's 505 always. Possible players in the last match realized how hard it is to get uh, ideal builds. Yeah, I might be in the game. Yeah, That'd some of so, more flexible. Yeah, some of that adjustment with that that slightly smaller ring. Okay, he's chasing down Katana Prime right now. Katana so it's Prime. On the uppercut. There it is. Nice. Yep, nice. Right and he gets to stay Five up enough. on top of the tree. Has enough time to eat. Yeah, that was beautiful. He has sadistic as his healing perk, uh, but none of his moves really pair well with that, so he's not going to get a ton of value out of it. 
GK on the move here with my favorite haircut, the Bob. Very nice. <laughs> this character looks like she's gonna ask for the manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with that, with that uh, monocle too. <laughs> Definitely a lot more costume changes, I think. Uh, yeah. Than we usually see. Yeah, for sure. Gutter walks right into that chair from GK. GK is trying to press a little bit. Gutter gets out of the way. A slick maneuver here. Ring is getting real small. People are dancing around this truck trying to get cover. He's in the backside of the apartments. Yeah, this. Uh... 24 people left. This already seems like a higher survival rate than the first game. Absolutely. Definitely. This is more what we're accustomed to seeing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I anticipate at least one game where like eight people are being forced into the water. Like that's, I, yeah. I think it'll happen at least once. But yeah, we'll, I think so we'll, we'll find Actually, out. Yeah, if we get a coastal ring and then it goes straight into the water, that's definitely going to happen. Across the Phoenix on the ropes does have the revive. If needed. Also, tons of, of healing food in the too. pockets. Eating in the bushes. Here comes uh, Save Rumbleverse. Nope. Backs off. That is uh, Emperor Mole, by the way. Yeah. It's so hard to remember. Everyone changes their names, and now I can't remember who's who. So <laughs> forgive. Well, I just learned these as well, so you're, you're, we're on the same page. Yeah. I need a cheat sheet. Honey Foxy scoping it out from the top of the billboard, taking memory, climbing up here with a wood plank, ready to do some Shout damage. Shout out to Meowie. I wish she could have played. Yeah, that would have been great. See her compete. That was another player that had not competed in the big raffle that I wanted to see play, but she cannot, unfortunately. Tay, second place last game. Rocking the roar once again. Very Loving interesting. Loving the roars, man. I, I, I am good Purposely on the roars. Rocking. Empowering Roar, the Roar we all thought was probably the least likely to be used in solos. Tay's using it two games in a row. He's been using Roars consistently, I think in an anticipation to practice for the Big Grapple the past like three or four days. Interesting. Yeah, and he likes it especially for... Uh, oh, three uh, people? Wow, big damage. Making folks drop their weapons. Right. Only one person is, is rocking it. That means no one's expecting it. Psykin getting done up by Ooh, Tay. No, he's going to finish him off. Doesn't realize that Psykin was low in health. Yeah, I think and he backed was, off because the third party was coming in. Yeah. I mean, maybe that as well. But either way, Psykin almost got destroyed yeah. for trying to third party himself. Yep. And speaking of... Like him with the big Izuna drop dunk. Got a Cosmo shot super kick combo. Some displacement and some quick attack here. Rocking a Damn bunch of basket. damage. Whoa! Whoa! Easy there, Psyken. That was a little nuts. Psyken uh, really showing off mobility. And going for those bonus points. Mm -hmm. uh oh, gutter, gutter down. down. Lycan's very good at not overly focusing one person in these crowd situations and not getting too dialed in. So, you know, he's kind of flowing between targets, just hitting whoever looks opportunistic to hit and uh, going for that Jesus. damage. Huge brain buster. Psyche just going in. You know, he heard that you could get points for damage and said, okay. He's like, I'm <laughs> in. Let me do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw a couple elbows. Yeah. He's sitting on a full super meter too, so, you know, maybe he feels emboldened with the risk taking. Yeah. Go, go ahead. He went ahead and popped. He's trying to try and get some heals from this, probably. Maybe land a super after he gets some heals. Oh, yep. 56K. Oh. Gets interrupted by Ryan. That Ryan denies it. Oh, tries to get the team combo anyway. He, he sensed the, the interruption coming in. Switching targets, no And neither of, them, neither of them punish Shaiken out of fear yeah. that they will get third partied by the third, <laughs> yeah. the third party. Absolutely. And here right. comes our last shrink. Heading to the final ring. 20 people left. This is more like what we see. In the <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. That rocket jump elbow only, only looks like it hit one Look person. Look at those health bars, baby. Three. It is an absolute mess out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luther's out. The RV Messiah took him out. I think it's Pink Lip. That is Pink Lip.
And 56k modems down uh, out as well. Trapsy took him out. Trapsy also took out Automatic. Taking out the best uh, friends. He took out uh, Realistic. This is a pretty flat area for this many people. Not a lot of places to go. Even if you have heals in the pocket, it's going to be hard to find a spot to do it. Casual Pay found one of the few good spots right there. Edge is also playing the edge of the ring, fittingly. Mm -hmm. Low on resources, just looking to survive a little bit longer. Oh, saved by the third party. <laughs> Casual Tay out of there to stop Dad Ryan. That's huge. Huge. Yeah. I believe this is Emperor Mole. Yeah. Sneaks in a quick vicious mist into Super. I like to point out the Mole still does not have a lot of perks. <laughs> still not playing that aggressively. Yeah, Mole's also playing two very low damage special. Moves. That is true. That is true. Loaded up on the golf clubs, though. And uh, Absolutely. Other than the assorted weapons. I like, I, like, I like the pod loadout. Yeah. 442, it's a good setup. I agree. Yeah, I don't know if it's the best for this particular move set, just because yeah. you know, the damage potential is so low on those moves, you're not getting a lot of value from those arms pods. Yeah. But uh, I do like the build. I like taking out pink lip off screen. Gonna go for an, an in and out play, play style. Moving over to taking memory. Staying mobile here on the side of the house. The ring is shrinking slowly all the time. It will not wait for the combat to stop. So those little nooks and crannies on the house and all these other places, they're, they're not going to last that much longer. They're going to be gone at some point. Ooh, Ooh nice. <laughs> AP out of there. Tom Prime is KO'd, taking memory. The big is going to drop. We got Chill. Popping Super to stay safe. Kind of getting attacked from a couple angles, getting the heals. I feel like this giant wooden fence. People are gonna just keep playing around it because it's oh, like yeah. it fix that line of sight. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. How did the uppercut? How did that hit? <laughs> Jeez. Somewhere in the world right now, trying to this game is ass. <laughs> game sucks. He snuck out of the ring to get some heals. Nobody noticed, so he's gonna be right back in it. He has Super Cyclone and Dolphin Dive. One of the best combos in the game, I would say. He wants to throw a couple books at some crowds just to see if he can get some of that meter. Doesn't want to get too committal. Uh oh, step that Ryan, Ryan on the ropes. Now. Rocking a 4 4 2. It's, I mean, just that alone is a big change in traditionally what we've seen from Ryan, which is, uh, you know, a 0 5 5 setup. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, step that Ryan. The resilience. Oh. 43 health, no heals in the pocket. Sneaks a quick suplex into the bushes, scurries away. What a dangerous position to be in. Land that book toss for a quick 12 meter. Yeah, he's just trying to get the meter, get the superstar. Yes, he is. He's almost there. One almost decent there. taunt away, basically. Oh. But also about two chops away from death. The tension. Oh, might stumble from that. Did stumble, but didn't get punished. The camera away. I know as soon as I do, he's going to get hit. He or get the meter oh, either way. Yeah, there it is. Instant pop. Right. Ryan yep. will be all right. Yeah, Check unless he gets hit side. right away. <laughs> He'll be fine. I want to check real quick. Oops, wrong button. I want to see. Is Flea Guy around? I feel like I haven't seen his name. In memory. Yeah, Flea Guy's right there on the on the, uh, in the corner. Oh, uh, yes. He's yeah. big chilling. Big chilling chillin in the banner. corner. The room on this house is dwindling very fast. There's not a lot left. Viking with the big brain buster. Takes out Frosted Phoenix. It's another KO for Saiken. I feel like Psyken gets stronger and stronger as the chaos kind of dwindles and the numbers dwindle. 
Mm -hmm. uh, oh man, let's see so if we can get a view of Psychic. Target. I'm curious how many perks he has. Uh, eight. Yeah. Rocket eight perks. So he's yeah. done, oh what, like 20,000 something damage almost probably? <laughs> he has seven arms too, so the actual damage number is quite a bit higher than that. Yeah, because that doesn't apply to your, to your perks your perk. anymore, correct? Exactly. Can you get that wall combo? No, it does not score Can the wall combo. It. I'm gonna do it again! Cosmo again. Yeah. <laughs> Sending Mole outside the ring for a little bit of a timeout. Dashes right into the action. She'll wisely take defends out GK. himself. Hot best on friend best Whoop. friend on friend action. Triumph is meditating right in the background. Flea <laughs> <laughs> guy is stacked nice again dash. with sumo slap and rocket jump. Yeah. Same setup as last time. Uh, he, had, well, he had green slaps last time, okay? Yeah. Which means by well, progression, next game, he's going to have purple slaps. It. Yeah. Oh, they're Catch. cobbling off each other. Again. Is that Dan Ryan out of there? So the guy's going to nice. become a problem in the points if these players don't do something about it soon. Lycan's reaction is being tested. Psyching with the patience. Big brain buster once uh, Flea Guy gave up mashing the vicious button on the chair. <laughs> Good read from Saiken. He's looking very healthy. I mean, you know what's really common from Saiken is you'll see him uh, backstep a couple of chair, vicious chair attacks. Yep. And then he'll go into the drop kick, knowing that he'll take right. the weapon from you. And people tend to spam the chair vicious, right? Uh, right. Against Flea Guy there, he stops. He dodges two of them, stops, and did basic vicious. Because he knew right. Flea was looking for the dropkick. Very, exactly. very far, smart stuff. High level stuff from Psyche. And to keep that thought in his mind. You know, not treat Sy Flea Guy like some other player. It's Flea Guy. He's going to be thinking. Uh, so, yep. you know, he did the thing that he thought he would at least expect, and it worked. Flea Guy using a rocket jump to great effect as well, just to create space for himself to get to an elevation that's hard to chase quickly. Get some heals in from the, the super meter. Untouched. No one wanted to chase him. Triumph going down. People do not want to see Triumph win today, apparently. They sure don't. He's got the world against him. We're down to four as the ring starts moving. We've had about four or five left each time the ring starts moving, so that's been consistent, at least so far, in the two games we've seen. Lycan, Flea Guy, Mole, and Edge. Four really good so our only again. repeat customer here in the top four is Flea Guy, right? Yes, sir. Which again is going to be huge for scoring. Even if he went out like, right now, that would still be big. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to have a pretty solid lead. Psyken dodging all the things. Psyken's like, why aren't you guys third partying this dude? <laughs> he has yeah, the most points. He's definitely <laughs> waiting on it. Fine, nice. I'll do it myself. Yep. Oh, bam. And there goes Flea and Guy. There you go. All right. And a brand new top three here. Oh. <laughs> Psyche hitting the, the net there, bouncing away. Satisfaction perk. Really putting in work for Psyche in this game. He's been on the ropes oh, a couple times, awesome. but he's able to land these KOs, which are giving him points for the total scoring, of course, but also they're triggering that satisfaction perk, which is just refilling the stamina, it's refilling the health, and it lets him kind of just cascade these things and just go in and keep going. A lot in. of fighting outside the ring. You know, Edge. I'm curious if Saiken not being able to play that first game is what led him to picking seven reds in this game, knowing that he had to make up some of the points. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Points. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll definitely ask him after this is over. That was a... Really bold swing attempt from Mole on uh, someone who has reactions like Saiken's. Man, this is probably going to be it. Yeah, I think Saiken's taking game game two. What? 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 What do you do? He doesn't know. He has, he has no health. He has no. no way to tell. He's just playing the ring. <laughs> That's true. He's doing he's doing the smart thing. Playing Sometimes with the smart thing That's is actually the stupid thing. <laughs> you just have no way to know that, you know? Yeah, he's still got pockets full of good stuff, too. Woo! The Can clash. A quick, quick pan to... Okay, so you get a is. good amount of perks, but does not... What matter. a beast. Yeah. Don't like it said, like a beast doesn't too. matter if I'm not in the first game, I'm going to take the second. Yeah, well, Saiken is going to be looking inc incredibly good after this game, but we have to talk about Flea Guy again, because Flea Guy... 
uh, was the only repeat customer in the top four and did win the first game. So Flea Guy's score is going to be pretty good after yeah. after this game, once all yeah, that stuff absolutely. is calculated. I, I, I would imagine that with Casual Tay going out a little early, maybe like 8th or ninth or whatever, and mm -hmm. then Flea Guy still being in the top five, I have to imagine this score will still be leading, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll find Triumph out. was in like 5th that game, right? Uh, yeah, right. fourth, fifth, something like that. Yeah. Yes, and and I think that's a, he was in the top four of the last game. I think. Brian he was third. Third, he was third. third. Yeah, so he's gonna have he's a pretty not, good. He's score not out of the running at all. Yeah, he's not out of. Yeah, the he's running gonna running. have a pretty good score right now because that's pretty consistent. Yep. And then of course, stepdad Ryan, we need to talk about as well. He also uh, in the last uh, big grapple finals, he was able to win two games. And uh, out of five, and just barely lost it to Triumph. So, um, for him to have such a good performance in this game as well, you know, just shows he's still going to be a threat in the points tonight. Consistency is key. Mm. Sykin's gameplay was inspired. Yeah, I mean, he came out swinging, ready. <laughs> I got to compliment the style, right? I think a lot of players uh, take it personal, so to speak, right? They'll they'll get hit by somebody and be like, oh, you son of a, I'm going to get you. Uh, or they'll hit somebody and then try to stay on that person until they finish the job. But Sykin's style in that last game was very free-flowing. It was just like, I'm just going to hit whoever looks vulnerable, and then I'm going to bounce out of the screen so they don't even know who did it, and then do it to somebody else. He was just trying and, to do damage. Uh, it didn't matter to who. Yeah, he was just trying to do damage. He was very mobile. He was very non-committal, um, and I think that's a very good style. His, pa his patience and eyes for the different windows to just weave in and out of the fights are really working in his favor. Yeah, it shows the experience, right? Only someone who plays the game as much as the players in tonight's Invitational do can can see those things, you know, that quickly. Right. Uh, and that's why these players are here tonight because they they know the game so well and they can do these things and put on such an incredible show for us. Yeah. So Saiken just posted his stats. He did twenty four thousand seven hundred sixty one damage. Wow. But he only had four limbs. He only had actual actual four limbs, but he did a crap ton of damage. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be, with the limbs factored in, you know, 2,800 extra points. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. That's a lot. Hey, I did the math in my head right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, gonna be and like I said, Triumph. I, I just mentioned Triumph, right? Now that we're seeing the score sheet, Triumph, who has had two very good performances. They weren't uh, you know, uh, first or second place, but two very good performances now sitting in third place with a pretty no, he, good yeah, score. He's, he's a win away. Him and Tay are both a win away. From They're right him. there, yeah. They're yeah, really right there. there. Yep. Um, and then Mole kind of jumping up here uh, with, with some good performances uh, as well. And you can see Edge and Stepdad Ryan are kind of right there as well. Mm -hmm. Nobody's out of it at this point, right? You could no. have a couple. It's five games. You could have a couple games where you wash out last place. You know, you're getting twenty eighth place or whatever. But you win one, you you are potentially somebody who could win the whole thing. But you're almost certainly in the money if you can win one of these tonight. Yeah. So no one's really out of it at any point. And even if we're in that last game and someone's a lock to win first place, that there's still a big fight going on for trying to get into those top eight places because the payouts tonight go all the way down to eighth place. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top eight will be paid out. So where would that cutoff be? There's four, five, six, seven. Take a memory would be the cutoff right now. If we were to end it right here with 4,226 points, you would be in the money. Uh, I have that photo available. I can show you guys. Once again, what the payouts are. Just let me pull that up for you. Yeah. There you guys can see you can... first place gets one thousand five or one thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars. Uh second nine fifty one and third five fifty or five thirty five. And all the way down to the bottom, I want to make sure everybody got at least a hundred bucks. So eighth place gets hundred and nineteen dollars. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Not bad for some of those free to enter or free to, to play in, I should yeah. say. Yeah, for sure. Commends everyone that's trying so hard in this tournament. Let me uh, throw up the next game. After after this game, after game three, we'll take like a short 
five, 10 minute break, give the players time to stretch their legs, you know, and us as well. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go straight into game three. Abor, I have a question for you. What's up? What do you have against breaking targets? What do I have against breaking targets? Honestly, yeah, I, just, man. I just don't do it. I don't have anything against it. I, it's just like one of those things where I'm like, I want, all right, so you want to get high up on a building or wherever to drop on the target, right? Because you want to get the most out of the target and the higher you go, the, the, the better the item is, you know? But usually if I'm already on top of a, a high building, I don't want to give my positioning up for like, what could just be an energy drink or could just be a chicken that I probably already have, etc. So that's, mm. that's the general reason why I don't just drop them in that often. Feel free to scream. Uh, Fair enough. It's usually not worth giving up my positioning. I like that it's a strategy play. Alright, we got players joining up. We got 16 in here. Hopefully you get the full 28 like last game. That was really exciting. Saiken, Saiken making it clear that his presence not being in the first game really mattered. Agreed. I wonder if after seeing that kind of performance, more folks are like, hmm, arm spots. Yeah, maybe I should do some damage. I mean, the, the bulk of the points. Like we've discussed before, they come from the win, right? That first right. place is where that 10k comes from. Absolutely. Right. Um, and you can bulk up on arm pods. Like, Saiken did a lot of damage. Saiken did 24,000 damage, got four elims. That's 2,800 points. That's a lot of points for someone who is going to get fourth or fifth or sixth place. Yeah. Because that's, um, that's more points than they would have got from their finishing. Yep. But first is still what matters. That first place is where the 10k comes from. And uh, the arms pods aren't necessarily going to help you get there. Uh, it really just depends on your style, right? Um, yeah. I guess I, I wasn't even initially thinking, like, the, the the extra points there. I meant just, like, play style alone, um, like, He's approach to game. Yeah, the right. fact that he came out on top with so many arms pods and, you know, clinched it out with the lacking green and yellow, you know? Yeah, my thought on the hit-and-run style that he plays with the red pods is is the reason it works so well is because uh it's a very like it's annoying style it makes people want to kill you because you're just like interrupting them and third partying them and it, it like creates a grudge right so what you need to make sure of is that when you hit them it hurts yeah. so that even though they're mad at you they're so focused on scurrying away to survive or heal yep. that they don't have time to you know grudge on you and chase you down Psychic so just did 70% of my health. Maybe I'll save fighting him for later if I make exactly. it that far. <laughs> exactly. So that, I think that's my theory on why that works so well with Psychic's play style. Mm -hmm. Just psychologically. Yeah. But, you know, you, you, you third-party somebody who's got a lot of green and they're pretty healthy and you hit them for 600 and they're like, yeah, I still have 1,200 health. I don't really care. Right. <laughs> and then they're yeah. grudging on you and then that's a problem for you. So you never know. Hard to know what the other players are packing. Yeah. I feel like in these lobbies too, where you're in that funnel ring with so many people, if I see someone with a mist, I'm afraid of them 100% because... They're going to throw that book in an unescapable you, that's why. Someone, some, Someone's going to punish you, or it might be four or five people jumping at the person that they see is vulnerable. It's definitely even more tempting in this format to disrupt, though. You know, like in the previous format where placement was what mattered, if, like, let's say I see Tubbleware start to combo Keenan. I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll let him finish, because if Keenan gets eliminated, I get more points. Um, and that's still true here, because, you know, the placement matters the most. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely more tempting now to be like, oh, Tubbleware is hitting Keenan. I'll hit them both and get extra points for myself on the damage scale, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could resist that temptation, personally. 
that and then the potential influence of like a sadistic like hmm two people fighting yeah. and not paying attention to me i'm here working here we go game three and this could be pivotal somebody gets a second win that's like keith said earlier that's really hard to come back to yeah possible but pretty tough Either way, though, we're, we're paying out top eight, so there's still a lot of action to come that really matters to every player in here. They all want to get I'm launching myself money. into the water. I'm seeing a lot of questions in the chat that I want to address. Uh, it was invite only. There is no process to get in. I picked the players that I wanted to see play. Generally, they were big grapple contestants before. Um, I, I think out of the, the 28 people playing, 27 of them have competed previously uh originally there was 35 invites there was never going to be a 40 player game it was always going to be 35 or less uh, a couple people couldn't show up so we have 28 that's what we have that should answer all the questions for the player count uh Saiken couldn't get in the first game they just does it happens sometimes uh but Saiken won the second game and they're right back in in the, the running so all's well that ends well i suppose it, it kind of is what it is Anyways, here we go. We got Lawless. We haven't seen Lawless play yet today. I saw Lawless get killed behind a building. <laughs> saw their, their <laughs> life bar complete. But yeah, I haven't seen them actually play. Uh, I see Gutter Magic nearby as well. Might have an early early skirmish, or are they going to go their separate ways? They're both kind of looting the uh, village here. Even when we've seen players run up on each other early on, there's been like that situation with Frosted Phoenix and Flea Guy earlier where they fought for a bit and both realized maybe we should get some stuff because this is going nowhere <laughs> fast. So yeah, I, I and imagine both them in that game ended up in the top five or something. Oh yeah, Flea Guy was there and, and Frosted Phoenix was I don't know about top five, but they were up there too. So Yeah, they were close. They were both top Look ten. Alive, here comes the ring. This is our first low key key ring. Oh yes. Nice. Very true. And we got a lot of water around here too. He almost got smoked. Checking out Gutter Magic. Gutter Magic was a top Killer Instinct player with the character Thunder. Nice. Got second place at Evo, I think, one year, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. I Probably think that's been... on his fun fact sheet that I will oh, be putting nice. on screen during our break. <laughs> I spoiled the fun fact about Gutter Magic, but. Uh, yeah, Gutter Magic has been playing a lot of Rumbleverse since it came out. Definitely a very threatening player. Mm -hmm. All fun facts, by the way, were gathered uh, by Investigation Cone of, of his own reserve. He did that just okay. because he wanted to do it. And uh, I, I curated some of it. There were some in there that I wanted to add, some of my own little facts. But completely Investigation Cone's idea. I hope that after the big grapple is over and RV is done for and all that, that so he finds a new home to, to do the stuff he does because he's really good at it. So, yeah, I'm hoping for mm -hmm. the best in, in that regard. Maybe maybe James Chen can start running tournaments again and they, they can get together or something. The real rumble verse was the friends we made along the way. Mm hmm. You know, I, I think honestly, it's like obviously I've made some, some new friends, which, you know, that that's great. But I've yeah. rumble versus really driven home some relationships that i've had but weren't tight as they are now like automatic we're watching right now is a great example jubo and yeah. i have always known of each other and we've you know been friendly in passing but i'd say we're like actual pals now because of rumbleverse and that, that's happened a lot with a lot of, of, of fighting game people so it's been nice it's been really yeah. cool definitely cool to be able to uh bring a game to the people that brings the people together it's you know, I'm very enthusiastic about game design specifically when it relates to the social aspect. Like, I like making cooperative or competitive games because I think the most interesting thing about games is the other players. Uh, so it's really cool to see people come together. Automatic gets taken out by Saiken. Stuck in a sticky spot in between two folks there, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah he's got to be frustrated. He was fighting his best friend 56k too, and then Saiken had to come in and ruin the moment. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm going to take that KO, thanks. I can said I'm the hero today. Indeed. Yeah, Automatic's got to be frustrated. He's had uh, three matches in a row here where he's been 
pressured pretty hard and gone out pretty early. Um, if that were me, I'd be screaming, they're targeting me! Uh, even though it's probably not true. 56k, modem wants to ride towards the water. Oh, oh my goodness. That positioning. <laughs> that was close. Oh, uh, runs Mr. right back into Mr. Hospitality. Would he throw him out? Nope, because you limited it. It's got pretty far, though. <laughs> yeah, he did get pretty far, oh, regardless. Okay. Oh, and he has the star out? This is rough for 56k. Yeah, oh, he's cooked. Boy. That was a, that was a basically well. unwinnable situation. That was some really great pressure by Mr. Hospitality. Absolutely. Relentless, I would say. Mm-hmm. Also, for the most part, big ups to the players for reporting your scores right away and doing, following the instructions and directions exactly the way you're supposed to. I appreciate it. I was worried yes. that that might be a bit of a, an issue, but everybody's been been reporting their scores properly and, and timely, and it's been great. Good. Even in the situation with Tay, where he forgot to take the picture, he was understanding. It was like I'll take the zeros. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, That's it wasn't good. an issue. You know, he wasn't argumentative. Or, so yeah, everybody's being responsible and nice, and I, I appreciate you guys for that. I think you you picked these competitors for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, exactly. If I, if I felt that you would be problematic, I would not have you in my event. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. So if you've been a part of the big grapple before at some point, and you were in chat or people complained or whatever the situation was, and you were making problems for people, that may be why you weren't invited. <laughs> and yeah. That 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 could very well be why. Being a nice a person who... gets you places. Yeah, I've also seen a lot of people who want to get in here now that there's money on the line, but we're not interested when there wasn't. And I, I really yes. think this is a celebration for the people who were were in there before it was for something. Yeah, th th um, I mean, obviously the money is great and nice and all that. And I'm glad people are getting paid, but this is we're celebrating Rumbleverse tonight. This isn't about money necessarily. It's it's about right. enjoying the thing that we get to enjoy one last time, basically. So I, I'm is glad you guys are here. Top. Town of Prime is putting Mr. Hospitality through the ringer right now. Three really good reads in a row. Mr. Hospitality is now on the run. That's the yeah, pop that's super. super. The whole bakery at one HP. Can we get a view? Nope. Tryouts. He breaks off. Here we go. Doesn't have any food in the pocket. Whole bakery gets hit. Somebody's going to get one point for the damage. <laughs> and but they'll get 100, 100 for the, the KO. KO. So he does have an option, which is jump in the water and deny try to everyone nope. the points. <laughs> yeah, but you want to get your placing. Your placing is more important of course, than of course. the 100 points someone else will get. I'm teasing. Climbing up the tentacles here, trying to find some kind of spot. Finds a football instead. Football gets blocked. Here comes Edge. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, Edge is drafting him, bro. Whole Baker is out of here. You gotta feel blessed if you're playing for points like this when uh, somebody who you haven't hit a single time <laughs> walks <laughs> by you, you throw an item, and then they get KO'd, and you're just like, cool, yeah. 100 points, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. See you later. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Here's Mole with a starfish playing by the water. The ring is pushing away from the water a little bit, but it's not gonna be that far away. It is possible that the ring, when it starts to move, will go towards the water this time. There's realistic X kunai thrower, or EX kunai thrower. I see a KP KO'd Saiken. Ooh, Saiken's out. Saiken's out of there, Saiken that's out, big. 17th or 18th. Yeah, that's big. Where's Flea Real Guy, though? That's, that's what's gonna matter now. Triumph and Flea Guy. And I yep. guess Kit Tay, too, is right up there as well. Uh, as soon as we go to Final Larry Circle, God I'll gone. get overhead. Magic's gone. Flea Guy's still in, just KO'd Larry, God. A tough room, man. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, like I said, everybody in here is is good. There's no bad players playing right now. Trying to flip the uppercut, gets saved. But gets saved with the, the heroes. I know GK is punching the air right now. He is pissed. Yeah. He had the hit. Flea guy comes and saves. Triumphs. That's like the last person Ran Flea guy wants to save right now, too. Yeah, exactly. It was like we, that's the wrong person to And by Triumph. Yeah, killed by the person that, that got saved. Yep. That's a feel-bad moment for you. For sure. Rough. It's all part of the rumble.
Oh, the three KOs in a row there? <laughs> Jeez. Pay is still in there. Triumph is still in there. Saiken, as we know, got KO'd early. That's, I mean, that's part of that aggressive play style too, though, right? Like, yeah. if you're going to be aggressive, you're putting yourself in a situation where you could get hit too. Yeah, for so sure. That, that'll, mean, that'll, it'll pay off, but sometimes you'll get twerked on too. It happens. Saiken won the last game, but was damn near death like four times. Yes. Mm hmm was one slip up away and, and that's just how it is that's the style down to nine players water could become a factor very quickly as well this is a yeah. very different final ring now we're nine players at a, and we're not even at final ring yet compared to like 25 last game and then 14 the game before so we're seeing definitely a lot of differences uh from previous big grapples Depending on the direction towards the water, if we, we make it to that part of the ring, uh, could be a couple boats uh, that come into play. So seeing how folks maybe dance around that or with that uh, could be really interesting. Yeah. The ring will pick a random direction out of the 360 possible directions and just go. So it is more, more likely that it does not go towards the water than it is that it does, just because math. But We uh, guys out of there to casual Tay. Oh, wow. That's Hit huge. him with the starfish. I'm assuming you put him in the water. Because Tay was down there earlier. Maybe Flea Guy went to yeah. chase and Tay pulled out the starfish and let him know. Tay probably feeling really good that he specifically got out Flea Guy. Knowing that, you know, there's seven more spots ahead for uh, that first place. But uh, not with that, those specific competitors. Yeah. We can get a, a full view. Gets dunked there. If this yes. ring goes uh, south, it could go into the the Mr. Sweetie's area. Uh, and if it goes to the west, it's going to go to the river. Um, so there is a, a good chance of water here when this thing starts to move. And if we even make it that far, a lot of players are out already. Yeah, this this game in particular, game three, this has now became the Triumph versus Casual Tay Show. Flea Guy is out mm -hmm. of there a little bit early, so he's going to drop uh, in overall ranking. Triumph is still there. Casual Austin Tay Fins is still there. relatively consistent, too. Uh, don't forget about Mole. Mole was also still there as well. Mole took second Very last true. Game. Yeah, so those, like those, those three or players, or I think, Mole, right Mole, Triumph, and Tay are really going to be fighting it out to see who places higher right now, in this game in particular. Ryotsi with another standout from Season 2 of the Big Grapple that uh, we haven't seen too much of today, but here he is in Top 8 of Game 3. I want to see this clash this is, going on. This ring would have been a lot better for the type of crowd we had in the last final ring, right? There are way more places to kind of hide and separate fights in, in this ring because of the way it's layered. But we got here and we only had nine people. We're down to eight. Yeah, I also think, though, that maybe just the, the natural deadly state of Lokiki itself being so elevated and being so surrounded by water, maybe that's why Absolutely. we have less players in the top eight. What a scoop from Tay. Mm -hmm. Put a read on the jump. Of course, the Zuzuna drops, they're they are really powerful, uh, you know, suction-wise, but damage-wise, unless you're, you're getting big heights, they're not hugely damaging. Oh, oh there no. goes Taze out of there! Taze oh, by man. taking memory. Nice on. Memory. Hiding on the stairs, yeah, very nice on. Wall bounce off the tree, no pickup. Pop super to try and scurry away, even though they had full health already. Maybe just a little worried about the positioning with the back to the water here. We got Mole trying to mole up. <laughs> One look at look at oh, his perks. Bro, if if I'm yeah, well, first off, I want to point out that Mole very explicitly said he is going to change his gameplay. He's going to be uh -huh. more aggressive. You know what, Mole? Uh -huh. This is your natural state. You are yep. a you are a down back turtle type player. Nothing wrong are. with that whatsoever. But except, except who you are, yeah, take pride in it. Accept who you are. But also, yeah. if I'm mole right now, if I'm in top eight, I just took second place last game. Hide, man. Do that. Hide hide all you can. You want to place high as possible? Why not? That's that's yeah. another way to win. I wanted to make sure in this scoring system that winning wasn't punished. And uh winning is not punished. You can very much do two thousand damage. And uh, get that 10k for the win, and you're, you're, you're still looking pretty good. You sure can. Lowell's secret spot is gone. He's with the 055 bill. He has no damage. Oh, now. We're going east. Super oh. choke slam. 
Avoiding the water for now. Minus that little pool in the middle. Yep. How long do we actually have to go to hit water, though? It's going to be a real long a way. Oh, yeah. We're going the wrong way. This, this, the this, this could be a long game, boys. Triumph. Triumph take out all this. Triumph putting in work this game. Mm -hmm. He has uh, no arms as well, so he went with the 055. But he's got six perks, so he's putting up pretty good damage numbers. Yeah, he's, he's still going to be able to open up people. That's what Triumph is. Uh, known for his offensive mix is very strong And I gotta say I really really like super duper kick Especially once the ring starts moving because it really yeah, helps yeah. you I mean it, it's a fast move obviously, but it really grinds people's ring out timers down really well because the displacement is so big on it mm -hmm. Folks with uh, legs pow uh, pods are gonna feel really good about heading up the mountain because they're gonna have that advantage because if you fall down once or twice, that might be, might be it for you. That's curtains. Yeah, the rocket uh, jump could be crucial. Was, if we yeah, get to I was that about one. to say, I was looking around for rocket jumps, and then I noticed everybody but realistic has at least five stamina. So they're going to be able to climb, except for maybe realistic, but we'll, we'll see. If you know your paths, right, there are springboards you with the, yeah, use the to part. shortcut the mountain, but it for still sure. can be detrimental to be thrown off of it. And if we make it that far and we have to climb it, we're going to see people dropping like flies, for sure. Yep. Frosted Phoenix rocking the power mist. Very good move. There's no way all four of these people make it up the mountain. I mean, uh, Frosted Phoenix is going to die, so you're right. Yep, there you go. <laughs> but even outside <laughs> of that, I, 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 I don't know if we're even going to make it there, man. These players are going at it. I'm trying to put a win on the board here. Get the mole in the, the bush. Hey. Mole's in the bush. Get mole. <laughs> Try and recognize it. We can get the super. What? They're really putting on oh, a good ooh. performance here, too. Right back in the bush. You can't react to my animations if you can't see my animations. That is, yeah, big facts. All three players looking good on health. Oh, oh. that's going to hurt. Oof. Yeah, Mole using that rocket jump. Rocket Here's jump, weapon drop tech. Very good. Going to go for it again. The stamina is a problem, though. Big uppercut. Oh. Missed on the tackle. Oh, oh no, that's two oh, misses. No punch. They're Jason really Mole. locked onto each other right now. The, yeah, Mole is loving it. Mole is big chilling. Yeah, Mole is loving that they're ignoring him. But he only has the one weapon in his pocket. But he and has also Skyrocket doesn't have a strike. mountain but time. Like, this he is doesn't have a strike. He doesn't no. have a, stri a strike, and he doesn't have a fast strike uh, special. Therefore, if, if this comes down to a 1v1 situation and say that circle wasn't moving, he'd have a yeah. real hard time opening up Triumph or Realistic. So... Playing this like elusive fashion that he is right now is pretty much the only way to do it. Yeah, and he just wasted his golf club. He did not get the angle he wanted on that. He really wanted sure to put uh, way back at the bottom and it did not work out. And this spot is an easy climb. There are good springboards here. Chopping away. Oh, okay. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. That was so and, huge. And, and Triumph only has three seconds. He has the rocket. Whoa. So yeah, that's not, it's not going to matter. You just needed the one touch. Playing that elusive play style, that's, that's what you got to do. Triumph with no timer, though. He needs to chill. He cannot yeah, really be aggressive tough. right now. He needs to get on the side of the ring that's not on the edge of the mountain, for sure, too. Looks like we're about to go through the stadium. Yeah, we're I'm surprised all three made it up the mountain. But that uh, springboard definitely helped. Yeah, not to mention Triumph was already in super, so able to climb faster, stamina not much of an issue, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. Stocking up. Check out uh check out Realistic's uh pods right now. One not, e oh. one four not even full. Not he even has two full boxes, he's sitting on the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's saving those those boxes for combat or uh consider Trying to fill up on those pod slots. I, I, if, if I'm realistic, I'm breaking one of those when those two are fighting. I'm breaking one of the, the crates open to try to get some pods. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm keeping one just to make sure I have a weapon so I can block mm -hmm. if my stamina is low. 
good. They're really letting Mole get away with this too. Yeah. Like they're just happy to fight each other while Mole hangs out and watches. I, 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 I mean, if, I if they... they're thinking is is like, I, I I can't chase this dude. He has rockets and he's just gonna keep running away. Yes. So uh, maybe I, I deal with the person that I know I can I can hopefully try to reach and. And, and then you can focus on the one. Yeah. But even that fight is so risky because he could come flying out of the sky with one of these rocket elbows. Right, 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 right. Also, he just got aerodynamic, so those rocket elbows are actually going to hurt now. Mm -hmm. Well, he's run out of time like, to actually bad. get to use it. So. Has the pot on deck, does have the burn. There's a gold box out there. Doesn't look like he's going to bother. Get oh, we got caught drinking. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Are we going to see the elbow drop? We nope, not going to bother. Everybody's bouncing on the burping clams. <laughs> Big brain, brain buster. buster. Mm -hmm. Box throw does connect. Uh, this is big. Uh, this is big. Total. This is big. Close to that superstar. This is oh, big. He didn't get the super either. Enough. Yeah, I don't think we're just gaining meter for taking damage anymore. I think we're at that point in the match. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh oh. We got the one v one. This is like so said, pivotal. It's going to be hard for Mole with the moves he has to contest if Triumph realizes what his setup is, right? Yeah, Triumph but is Mole just going to chop basic. away. He's just going to chop be all day. Wait for the water. Yeah, Triumph Ooh, does not care. He's just, he's just going to keep ledge. going. That's a that deep okay. game knowledge right there. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Too late, yeah, that was definitely too late. That's big off the side of the mountain, slides down. He has plenty of timer and the, the ring is coming here right now. Sets him up with an extra weapon or two. Oh, never mind, he's popping the yeah, boxes there, there open. There's a weapon. And most oh, it, but it was too quick. He's not getting punished hard for it. No, not at all. And, and his the, timer is going to become a factor too. Do. One, two into a wall splat. Here comes the uppercut read. I feel it. No, the clash with the weapons. Yeah, this and if Mole's going to back right off, now. I'm going to heal. That's trying We've to made it all the way over the lava dome. The well, by the way, both these players have the same build. The same pod build. Mm -hmm. He's been out of the ring. Oh, here That's we go. huge. His timer's That's lower, so though. This is a really important moment. And he's gonna try and go over the top so that it's harder to edge guard. Did he land on the tree? Nope, he's just still hopping away. Whoa! <laughs> I just pulled the chair by right there. Yeah. Right, Mole's, yeah, I'll say Mole's gonna be able to gain super. Uh oh. Triumph has super as well, so he can keep whatever safe. He really wants to ring out. He wants to ring out right now. Ooh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I like I like there. Triumph not committing to the one two there. Just goes for the one one. He's had a couple mm -hmm. of problems punishing. Very smart Agreed. to not keep forcing it. He wants one of these super kicks to catch a rocket jump. Nice wall splat from the elbow. Throws him out. Yep. Absolutely oh. crucial. Still working down that timer. He Almost blocks him. Block. Are we gonna see the uppercut? I think the uppercut is coming. Oh, okay, Ooh, good well, enough. Is that enough to kill? kill? He's onto it. Like he knows. Oh, no wait a minute. Is that enough? There it is. Triumph that takes is. game GG. three. And shits on him. <laughs> I, I, I like that we picked that emo and started hovering over people after we beat them. Mole's, uh, uh, Mole's behavior after blocking two uh, strikes had tended to be a jump away or a rocket jump attempt. So the super duper kick was super clutch here because. Uh, you know, that, that move tracks into the air, so it's going to kind of option select a little bit whether they sure. want to attack or if they want to jump away. Um, and it's one of the few moves that does that, and it's still dodge cancelable and lets you keep yourself safe. Right. I think I think considering that loadout, that final 1v1 went out for a, a pretty long while considering Mo one of Mole's special abilities was a rocket. Like, he didn't yeah. have that second, you know, direct strike or, or power move in your face to really contest with Triumph in it. And yeah. It on Triumph's favor. If I could criticize Mole for anything in that match, it was actually, you know, the passiveness played well for him. But at a certain point, when you have that set up, you've got rocket jump. They don't. You're climbing the mountain. They're not. You're on top of the stadium. They're fighting and ignoring you. Like, you have to take those shots, right? That's your moment to win it. 
Uh, it's going to be really hard to win it on flat ground once you get to the beach. So, like, right. you really needed to be like, oh, they're fighting right now. I got aerodynamic. I'm going to drop the elbow in here. I'm going to I'm going to drop 600 damage on these guys. I agree. Uh, it was so he, close. He probably needed to be a little bit more aggressive uh, during the mountain phase right there. All right. Well, investigation cone is tallying up all the scores right now. As soon as that is done, I will throw it on the screen. We'll talk about that, and then we will move over to like a quick 10-minute break or so for the players so they have some some time to stretch their legs and, and think about how they're going to attack games four and five, you know, to, to, to finish this out. Yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of where we are. Let me, let me pull up the score sheet and see if we're fully updated. And let me, let me let the players know we're going to go on a break. I don't think we're fully updated. Uh, no, I, 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 I haven't put it on the screen yet. That's that's we're good. You, you can see it in your screen. The stream can't. Yeah, the, the thing I'm seeing on my screen, I don't think is fully updated. Because mole mole should have more points than that. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see in just a moment. Yeah. I don't think mole has put his points up in the sheet yet. Yeah, I'm seeing numbers shift around. But yeah, I mean, a mole mole played that extremely well, like you said, is just yeah. getting to the point where you only have choke slam and rocket jump. It's not going to work in the one v one on flat ground against you know this level of players usually. Um, maybe if you have a slow strike, you can make it happen, but you're not going to beat anybody's chops with your rocket jump. It's just not going to happen. So you have to be really careful about what your build is and maybe keeping a book in your pocket to mm -hmm. replace that choke slam, replace the rocket jump, depending on where the circle is headed, et cetera, et cetera. But overall, I mean, the, the way mole approached everything was, was, was great besides just maybe not having the correct move at the end. Mm -hmm. Second place is a lot of points, right? He's gotten second twice tonight. That's worth one first. <laughs> that, that is, you know, uh, that's that's a serious amount of points that's going to make him a serious contender and and possibly guarantee him you know at least a portion of the money tonight depending on the next two games something big could change but I think his odds are pretty good at this point. Yeah. Does anyone remember the pod build from Flea Guy in the first game? Uh, don't you recall. Don't. Mm. I'm gonna keep tabs of these in my mind. Saiken was seven two one. And then that last match, a zero five five. So seeing some really there's, nice there's diversity. Two five in the top two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's yeah, definitely been a good diversity. Okay, it's good diversity in in builds, but also you know the play styles, right? We've seen yeah, yeah, success from Mole's play style of you know being a rat and hiding and not not really getting involved. We've seen success from Flea Guys very. Uh, you know, dynamic and uh, reactive play style and, and taking those one-on-ones and taking people out. We've seen success from Saiken's style of just kind of hitting and running and, and being a pest and, uh, you know, bopping people with big arms. Uh, we just saw Triumph win uh, as well, you know, playing a very solid game, uh, very, very patient play style, I would say, generally, but still puts up a ton of numbers, very opportunistic. Uh, I love I love that there's so many styles. That's so cool. Like the player expression is amazing. Yeah, like if you, even the stuff they pocket is very different. You'll see some of these players who are mm -hmm. uh, placing very high in these matches, and most of the game their pockets is you know three weapons and one small chicken. <laughs> but you see other players who are placing very well who have uh, you know a popcorn party and two full nacho buckets in their pocket most of the game, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, everyone's choosing to kind of resource and kit a little differently. All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah. We're seeing Let's now see how, how your points matter. Uh, okay. Mole, who has taken second place twice, right. is behind Flea Guy, Saiken, and Triumph. Uh, Flea Guy has won one game. Saiken won one game. Uh, but Mole, who has second, taken second place twice, uh, is behind Saiken, who placed much lower than him uh, in two out of those three games. Uh, mm -hmm. So you you can see those those damage points really really mattering for Saiken right now. Uh, if he didn't do all that damage, he would absolutely be in fourth, fifth, or maybe even sixth place at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um, depending on you know 
how things played out. But yeah, the the, the damage matters. Uh, Psych or Emperor Mole, who should would have technically have been second place in the old grapple standings, uh, is now in 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 fourth. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta do damage. It actually matters. Yeah. Of course, Flea Guy no longer in first place. Uh, Triumph jumping to the top. Like we said, Triumph was the serious contender because Triumph had had you know a, th a third place finish and a, a fourth or a fifth place finish. Right? These are very consistent finishes. So consistent. And now Triumph wins this game and gets to add that win to those very consistent finishes and is now on the top of the entire pack. Uh, whereas Flea Guy was very consistent until that last game. The first two games were very consistent, but Flea Guy uh, was out a little bit early in that last game, and you can see yep. that hurt. Uh, quite a bit, and he's he's a couple thousand points now behind Triumph. Uh, so See Lovelace take, in the chat. We're gonna make it a, a comment little... on the the pacing of the game. Sorry. So, oh no no. Go uh, ahead. With I was the moving say, circle we're, we're and. Soon, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the pacing of the game with these moving circles, I agree, is Chef's kiss. I, I'm I'm really digging these final rings. Yeah, they're super dynamic. Really fun to watch. I think the changes we made to the game plus the new rule set here are really harmonizing quite well, and uh, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. All right, so we we have we have some some fun facts that oh I'm gonna throw on the screen. I'm not going to read through all of them, but they are all being displayed now, I believe, uh, for all of our players. <laughs> Fifty six um, came out. Was it a gushers fruit? Ad. He was a <laughs> child. Uh, <laughs> a modem was a way for computers to communicate over a landline phone before uh, <laughs> ISPs. Yeah, it sure was. And it made a fun noise that alerted uh, everyone in your house that you were logging on. <laughs> a fun noise. The screeching really fun death noise. sound. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the 28.8 and 56K modems, th those sounds were. A, a warning to what we were going to find on the internet and many years later. Now we understand why they were screaming in pain when they were trying to connect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's some fun facts on the screen for everyone. Uh, we're just, we're just hanging out, taking a little quick break. So the players can, you know, shake off their, their anxiety and kind of get ready to, to finish out these final two games. Um, if we were to finish right now, Triumph Flea Guy, Psychon, Emperor Mo, Casual Day, Frosted Phoenix, Twitch TV's Edge, and Take a Memory would be in the money uh, with Realistic and Stepdad Ryan just barely outside. Look how close their points are, by the way. 5,464 yeah, really to 554. 30, 30 <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty much anyone in that, uh, you know, 5,000 to the bottom range is still a threat for the money. Yes, uh, absolutely. You make top eight with one really good performance. You get a first or a second place. You could jump up. You could jump up in there. But yeah. So I I am gonna step away and use the washroom and get some water and stuff. And uh, when we return, we will continue the invitation. Well, I'll do the same, and when I get back, I will un uh, unmute myself and read fun facts out loud. <laughs> All right. Sorry, did we say five or ten minutes? I think he said 10. 10. Okay, cool.
I've returned. And as promised, I will now read fun facts. They're a little small on my screen, so I'm gonna squint. How's everybody doing out there? Doing great? Good. I can hear you say yes, I'm doing great through the internet. That's how the internet works. Automatic. Fun fact, commentated the big grapple. True, but this is his first appearance as a player. Also true. Automatic. Uh, long time competitive fighting game play. Uh, loves third strike. Casual take, fun fact. The player Tubbo least likes fighting in the current game. Yes, we did learn that earlier when Tubbo told us that. That, however, seems like a fun fact about Tubbo and not about casual pay. So, I've learned nothing about casual pay. Kill says, uh, did not come over from Fortnite. I think earlier that said came over from Fortnite, but did not come over from Fortnite. Comes from fighting games. Is the ultimate god of Tekken, I have heard. This is not what this said 10 minutes ago. This said something completely different. Um, so I question the credibility of that as well. Uh, Kuther, which we've learned many weeks ago is pronounced Kuther, not Cutter or Cuther. It's Kuther, I think. Kuther, yeah, right? Kuther. Uh, Kuther, fun fact, was in an online group with a player named Kuther. <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> so the players not who Luther, popped Luther. out caused yeah. things to shift a little bit. I'm trying to fix it as we go. Keep going. I'll see if I can stay ahead of you. Okay. Uh, great. So that's Kuther and his friend Luther. <laughs> All right. Frosted Phoenix, fun fact. Uh, shares a name with a rare species of New Zealand moth. I'm going to try to pronounce that. Titanomus. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Titanomus Cicerota? Cicerota? Titanomus Cicerota. Is that close? Sure. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Science. Uh, Gutter Magic is really good at Killer Instinct. Got second at EVO 2015 with Thunder. Fact, very good at Killer Instinct. Jesus Christ, aka GK, one of the two players who was invited to the original grapple and qualified for every week in the exclusive Atlantic time zone, I think. <laughs> it's not much of a fact. I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's exclusive about it? I don't know. Uh, only a few people live there. Okay. Like name one. Uh, GK. Wow. I didn't think <laughs> you'd have one on deck. Uh, Honey Foxy won a big grapple game with Dolphin Dive and Cosmo Shot. That is a... Yeah, it's a fact. I don't know if it's a fun fact. I've been a hitter. Came over from Fortnite. All right. Interesting. Uh, I've been a hitter. If you're in the chat, let us know if this is your first kind of melee combat competitive game or not, because that would be interesting for me to know. Uh, Kinder Party, a.k.a. The Great Kingini, organized the Behemoth Rush Rally. No, that's not right. That's Mole. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, that's I'm right. I'm hero. I am one hero. Stuff. Well, that's wrong. But it's, it's oh, on the next slide. Okay. Right yeah. Commentated the Big Rapple, true, and appeared in one week in season one. Beat Justin Wong in a tournament once. That's true as well. Um, he's also beaten me in a tournament. I believe he beat me in a Marvel 3 bracket. And Never beat me in a tournament. Hold that shit, KP. Yeah. Um, Kinder Party is very, very strong. Hello? Uh, <clears throat> Katana Prime, the other KP in here, is a cool dad, crew. He whispers a lot on his stream to not wake his child, who's very young. Commentated the Big Grapple and longtime player and commentator in the FGC. Very true as well. Don't third party him or he will hunt and end you. Yes, he, he will grudge on you pretty hard. Maybe not the best play style for the big grapple, but it is very entertaining play style and I watch his stream pretty often. How is there no comment about his uh, life outside the ring here? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the real uh, fun fact for Katana Prime. He's the, the, the chosen one, the ring out god. He will end <laughs> 9.86 seconds outside the ring and just barely make it in almost every time. <laughs> um, Lawless MS. What's your fun fact? Plays Fall Guys and Bloodborne. Uh, okay, that's a that's something. Uh, good to know, I guess. Uh, Lemonberry Juice plays about every battle royale there is. All of them, huh? Interesting. Uh, which one's your favorite, Lemonberry Juice? It's okay if you don't say this one. I won't be mad. Uh, 
That's Mike, a trick question because this what? is a this is a brawler royale. Got him. Whatever. <laughs> um, Battle Royale is not even a genre. It's a game mode. We've discussed that. Uh, no, no, no. We're not going to have this conversation. It's a game mode. No, it's it, a, it is a, It is a genre. A you are wrong. Criteria. It you are wrong. To do with it is a genre. Game. It is a genre. I was still reading those, and they're gone now. I'm sorry. We have to start the next game. Oh, I, was, I was learning so much. Well, you're, they're, the player's are about to learn the code and how to play, so that's where we are. You want to know something really interesting, though? What? Hmm. Battle Royale is a game mode, not a genre. We're not, we're not having this conversation. You're wrong. It's a game mode. You're, you are wrong. Deathmatch is a game a mode, thing, not a, a thing genre. Can be, a thing can be two things at once. The win conditions. It can be two things at once. Are the mode. The genre is the verbs. The genre is action platformer and brawl. Adam, Adam. Things can be more than one thing at once. Name one thing that's two things. Uh, Battle Royale is both a game mode and a genre. Wrong. We just discussed that that's not true. Name a different thing that's two things to prove your point. I, I'm, I told you, I'm not arguing about this right now. I have, I have other things to do. Because you already lost. You're already living I in the I have other things zone. to do than argue with you about what a game mode and a genre is. Being better. Like, get the players have, in this game. I have an answer for Adam. Okay. Cheese is both tasty and yellow most of the time. <laughs> it was such an easy thing for him to answer, and he couldn't do it. No, I, I, I could. It's just like, why, why, would I, why would I placate you? Why would, why would I give you what you want? That's not, if, if, what I want. if I give you, you what you want in this situation, I'm, I'm losing. Long it's easy. No. We've, already, we've, we've discussed this at length. <laughs> you, are, you are incorrect. Fundamental misunderstanding of what genre means. Well, this has been the sober genre of Tupperware. And that's about to change. You're, dri you're driving me to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you deserved. Yeah, pretty much. If this is what I deserve, I want more of it. I'm a glutton for punishment. All right, we got 26 players in here, missing three. Hopefully they get in, because we're launching. This is the game. No one is out of the running. So even if you're low on the points, yeah, you're no, one, we're... Uh, first or second place away from possibly being in the money. So exactly, hopefully everybody yeah. we, we are uh, not in that situation it. where people cannot win. Everybody should still be wanting to play and enter at this point. Absolutely. After this game, maybe that's not the the, the, the yeah, case, are, but in. you know, for now, we got them. They're in. That there is nothing better than chugging a bunch of dairy. And since we do have all the players in here, I will bring up the score sheet again, so everybody can kind of see who we're looking to, you know, solidify their placing here. Obviously, Triumph he wants the triple crown. He's won the Big Grapple season one. He's won the Big Grapple season two. He's looking to take the Invitational. Flea Guy, we all know, is one of the stronger players in the world right now, along with Saiken, Mole, and Tay. All, all those players, if they win a game, that, that, that would be huge. But players like Phoenix, Edge, Taken, uh, Realistic, Stepdad Ryan, Chill, Katana Prime, Triopsy, all those guys, are they could still win this. They're, they are not out of this by any means. Um, I mean, even people towards the bottom... Automatic is down there. Kinder Party, Honey Foxy, Gutter. I've been a hit a Lemon Berry. If they, if they win the last two games, that that you know puts everybody on their head. Yeah, we, we are we are far from a point where people can't win. Fight hard. Try to get into the money range at least. You know, Tofu. I want one of those. Um, one of the Rumbleverse shirts. But I don't know if they're going to fit my fat ass right now. Everybody, every brand's 3X is different. So I don't know if it'll fit. I mean, I, I suppose I could get it and then just wear it later. No, they, they only go up to three. Uh, uh, I, could, I, I, I could get it now and then lose weight and then wear it later. I, I've done that before. <laughs> so I'll probably end up doing it, that. But yeah. If you get it and it doesn't fit, mail it to me. I'll have the dev team sign it and I'll mail it back to you. Sick. I'll do that then. And you can frame it instead. That works. Ooh. 
Man, I have if I mail a... it to me and I'll have the dev team sign it. I mean, mail it to Keenan and he'll have the dev team sign it. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, a. Well, you, you'll get Orlando. I'll get Chicago. Yes. Thanks. Yes. I'll get both crews. Yes. I have, we'll I have a, a Brawlhalla poster, like a full size movie poster, a Brawlhalla poster, signed by their original dev team at Blue Mammoth uh, that nice. I have not hung up yet because I haven't bought a frame for it. But that is one of my more prized possessions, too. I have uh, copies of Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, both versions, and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 original shirts from E3, signed by Seth Killian and Ryota Nitsuma, Sick. Uh, who oh, worked in those Nitsuma. games. So those are my those are my cool signed game stuffs. I have no cool game signed stuff. Send me oh, some, Keenan. I'll sign it for you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say if you stay in game dev, I have a feeling you'll get some of that stuff, Keenan. Because I am not I, in game dev and I I have some of that stuff. I know cool people in and around game stuff. That, that feels good to me. All right, here we go. Game we four, got, baby. Uh, mole on screen, right? The save rumble versus yeah, that's mole. That is a burble. That is true. Grabbing some pods. Oh, he's a by tank. This could be a yeah. early, an early swing, and Triumph is there too. Triumph is nearby this too. Is a yeah. Dangerous area. <laughs> I see. Uh, automatic is nearby as well. This is uh This this could explode into some nasty combat any moment. Yeah, there's some real strong players in this small area. Automatic has a fantastic setup already with blue jump or yeah, blue jump and blue kick. Are you seeing what's happening with the outfits here? Everybody's turning into me. No, Emperor Mole like dressed as uh I forget who was in the robot outfit last game. I think it was Tay maybe. Yeah. And then uh yeah, a lot of people are dressing as you now as well. <laughs> That's cuz you can't hit Tupperware at the start. It's true. <laughs> All right, we got Triumph uh, in a little fight with Tay already. Yeah, this is this is big implications. Right here at the Welcome Center. Tay taking a box, getting out of there. Yeah, Triumph gonna let him go. I yeah. I feel like that's what we're mostly gonna see in an early game with these players. They everybody wants to lose. Nobody wants to die early just on like, some nonsense or not get perks because of some nonsense. They want they want to play. Yeah. This ring does cross the river, so depending on which side folks started on, you know, if they started on the small side and it shrinks across, they may have to cross at a dangerous time. So we may see some KOs happen uh, in the river as that as that event occurs mid-game. This is a nice, uh, lengthy early skirmish. Yeah, they're, sure. they're going back they're... at it. This is part two. And yeah, moving in and out on each other here. Yeah. L little couple hits here, back away. Couple hits here, back away. Yeah, Tay even chased a little bit and was like, nah, not worth it. I'm going to keep looting. Oh, here oh but wait a minute. Kinder Party here. Hello. The great here. Kingini. The Kingini is swinging. He's looking to play spoiler. He Fun is. fact, uh, Triumph and Kinder Party are, are good pals, good friends. So it would be really funny. And Kinder Party was in Triumph's uh, stream chat earlier talking shit, saying that Triumph oh. wasn't going to win today. So <laughs> to, see, yeah. to see Kinder Party knock him out there would have been really funny. It must not be very good friends, then. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I mean, affirmative on the good friendship. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I would say the same thing to my friends, too. So, yeah, I can't FGC bust your balls, like, are we really friends? Yeah, in the FGC, we would, like, shred each other every day. Like, you're best yeah. friends. You're just ripping, ripping on and telling them that they're terrible <laughs> yeah. at the games, etc. And then you go to locals, and you cheer them on. And you're ripping yeah. on everybody else who's local who you don't really hang out with. And then you go to, like, a national tournament, and suddenly you're cheering for all of the people who are local who you don't hang out with anyway because they're yep. local to you. So who you, who you cheer and who you uh, boo changes from moment to moment, depending on the situation in the FGC, for sure. Katana Prime with the Vicious Miss Super Duper Kick. That can be extremely dangerous. You hit by one mist and a charge top into a kick wherever I want to send you. That's, uh, that's scary. A charge kick, matter of fact. Yeah, especially with the river so close by. Mm -hmm. He could end some dreams real fast here if he plays the right position. But I know he doesn't want to go in the water himself either, so there's there's some inherent risk there. Uh, I'm sure KP is a little disappointed with his current score and wants to maybe place high and, and get yeah, on the board here. 
There's Saiken knocking Lariat God off the mountain just a little bit. Lariat God has a lot of food in the pockets, so you see his play style. He's going to be like a 5-5-0 usually. Yeah, staying committed to that very same build from uh, Season 1. Yeah, he's not a stamina believer. But he just took a lot of damage trying to get these pods. Saiken's coming back for more. Very God getting nudged to the edge. Swings through with the red shot. Gets the wall bounce. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Oh, 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 that has oh, got to be infuriating. That was actually ridiculous. <laughs> what? Larry God's like, why did I get hit there? I don't know why yeah. he got hit there. I thought he had that he was going to go. He got yeah, he's gotta be mad. And Flea uh, Guy's out of there in a triopsy. What is this game already? Oh, my goodness. Automatic wow, taking out Kinder Party. That's Flea Guy's out. That it hurts a lot. Yeah. Rough. Kinder Party's out as well. Automatic taking him out. Ooh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <Mountain> again. <laughs> that was great. He just got bitch slapped off the mountain. Oh, I'm going to miss this Tools game, boys. First perk. Me too, buddy. Me too. Realistic, trying to scurry away and get some breathing room to maybe get that stamina back. Chill pops up and backs away as well. The nice little spot to eat actually right next to that bounce pad because if somebody tries to elbow drop, they're going to hit the bounce pad instead. Let's move up the mountain. I think maybe that time on the play dead stand up would have been better spent jumping into that stamina pool real quick to get the buff. I mean, you put out the video that proved that it's not better to do that, so... Yeah, it's only just better to do block. that in, like, a very rare situation. Or or it's roughly equal most of the time. Yes. But yeah, like, the, the energizing pool up there, right? The hot springs were, were in range. Mm -hmm. I think he could have spent that ring out time jumping in there and getting sure. the buff real quick. Sure, yeah. Makes sense to me. Triumph is getting it done to him by Saiken up there. Another, Whoa, this is another this is big Saiken. early fight. Saiken with his trusty dive kick, see what he can do with it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He still thinks it's a good move. He just doesn't think it's the move that it used to be, which it, it's not. But like, that's, that's also true. fine. It's it's still mm -hmm. really good. Agreed. Especially if we're seeing a lot of these five five O's, that's the, the perfect opportunity for him to punish. Yeah, you can still really blow people's stamina up. The way you can move in the air with it when you're trying to punish a whiff that you jumped over is pretty crucial uh, to uh, the way a lot of the people play the game as well. Um, it's not too bad at generating wall splats either. Yeah. GK with the best haircut in the game. The worst. Sneaking a little dance and earning a ton of superstar meter. Totally unchecked here. Yeah, on the different level there, too. The worst is the bald head. <laughs> it's the ugliest haircut I've ever seen. I wonder if anyone had to cross the river yet. Uh, well, they're all going to be forced to probably eventually. Yeah. All the action we've been checking out is on this side because of the way the spectator works. It's not easy yep. for us to jump over. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Rumbleverse 2, we'll, you'll, you'll add that. The re-rumbling. The re-rumbling. <laughs> Lawless uh, with Shades of Mole here hiding in the bush. Comes swinging out with this chair. Everyone's kind of falling down the mountain. We are we are headed for water, everybody. We are going to be right next to the river. Is, uh, is KP still it. alive? Not not Kinder Party. We know he's gone. Oh, and Medic just took out 56k modem. He is going yeah, to talk fire. shit for the rest of their lives. <laughs> for the rest of their lives, Gregory is going to have to hear this. That, that actually just makes me so happy. It warms my heart. It didn't matter which one of the two killed the other one. I just wanted to see one of them kill the other one. I feel like they, they kept running into each other between the different matches, too. Yeah. They really did, yeah. <laughs> we got 21 players left, uh, but this ring is going to shrink right towards the water here in about 15 seconds, and we're going to have a bloodbath for sure. Yep. Water's in contention just straight off the bat from the beginning of this next ring. Or it, it is right now. We'll see who has displacement special moves. We'll see who's rocking the super, du super duper kicks, the big swings, the giant swings, mm -hmm. the edge. All those kinds of moves are going to be uh, pretty spectacular here. Six. 
trying to see what items come into play too. Big double hit from Edge. Edge has been very consistent tonight. He's kind of on the cusp of uh, having a breakthrough match and really contending for the top here. That was a nice spot. Automatic was just DQ. Uh oh. So that means 56k and automatic are both out of this game. On a prime. So it's realistic. It was realistic. We had a really good game last game. Got a magic's out as well. Mike 3P is out. Not really anywhere to go in this final ring. Nope. Just avoid being by the water is all you can do, really. Yep. It's going to shrink one more time a little bit away from the water, which will be a relief to some of these players for sure, but it is a pretty flat space. I want we'll to, get to see which direction it goes. Katana Prime. Because I know that he's going to be trying to, to put people in the water. That's his favorite thing on Earth. There he is. Yeah, fighting Saiken. As Saiken you were panning China. through for a moment there, I think I spotted two rockets so far. Uh, we'll see uh, what value they can get out of them, depending on, you know, direction we head. Yeah, direction of the water. Steichen playing really patient in the middle of the ring this game, not doing the usual hit and run, just kind of uh, waiting for the moment to strike with the, the big cyclone. Miss the charge chop. You don't see that very often. Our Prime still with a great ring out set up, but we're going to be just a little bit too far away to utilize the super duper kick unless he plays this exact position. So <laughs> let's see what Rock in the vicious miss. No books in the pocket, though. I think he's looking for a bait on the outside of the ring. Try to get oh, a higher sure. whip into something. Yeah, just got his third the, yeah, anything, really. yeah. Honey Foxy out of there to Lawless. Ooh. Nice jump there. Flex on him, KP. <laughs> 15 players left, kind of similar to Into the, the super Mount kick, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, huge. Tay is out of there, too. Tay is out of the edge. That is wow. huge that Tay is out of there. Absolutely huge. That is the position Katana Prime wants to play. He wants to play near that side of the ring. He wants to land that vicious mist, Irish whip, uh, long jump into the super duper kick to toss people onto the water. Each of those elims. That's going to be worth, you know, 100 points each. It's like getting 1,000 damage, basically, each time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's exactly what we based that point on, too, is, you know, 1,000 damage to, to do a kill, you should get 100 points. Yeah. Equal, equal trade there. Look at all the life bars moving except for one. Save Rumbleverse. <laughs> Save Rumbleverse's life bar completely still. There, there you go. go. He's chilling out there, too. <laughs> And my eyes are on uh, Triumph, Mole, and Saiken. Sticking around, making it through these top 13. Let's see how far they can make it. Be a really big deal. Yeah. Oh, we got a book coming in. Yeah, KP took advantage of that. Down Lawless. It did. And now everybody knows that Lawless is hurt. Lawless is playing as Colonial Dog. <laughs> a very popular rumble for his character, Colonial Dog. That's right. <laughs> You just stand on a tree, blocking, and then a lariat god comes soaring by your face. You know, this is scary out here. I'm not even playing it, I'm terrified. You know, I, I, think, I think that's part of what makes, at least for me, Rumbleverse such a good game to stream and watch, is just anything can happen all the time. No two games are alike. Just, you know, it's, it's very anxiety driven. <laughs> yes. I got yeah. jump scared you, you earlier scared. today. Yes, <laughs> all the time. Trip. It's a survival Rumble. horror game. Rumbleverse has the only jump scares I like. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's actually a really good way to put it. Yeah. I don't. I don't play horror games. Same. Too spooky for me. But Rumbleverse scares me all the time. So. <laughs> Wonder how Triumph feels about their loadout at the moment. You know, you got the green super kick and the green sumo slap. This is. Yeah. Uh, Two, two moves that kind of serve a similar purpose. Not a lot of damage potential here. You can see it in the perks as well. I That's know not the type of damage they usually do by this point of the game. I know he's hoping for sadistic. Yeah. yeah he's that, probably that's, also that's hoping for some book drops to replace one of these moves. Yep, absolutely. If you get sadistic, you replace super kick. If you don't get sadistic, you replace sumo slap, in my opinion. I like super kick, though. I'm a super kick enjoyer. 
But he did get Meditate first and went for the big green build and is going to try and maximize the use oh, of that there's Meditate. There's a book. Yeah, no. there, there's a book. Yeah. He doesn't want to switch though. Def definitely wants to switch to something, but not that, whatever it was. But that Meditate is going to let him get up to 900, which is, you know, very close almost, to a full yeah, stack. Yeah, almost a default. Health bar. Exactly. Almost yeah. A default health bar. Mm hmm. Uh, and that'll be really, really crucial as long as he can find spots to use it, unless we go to the river when this ring starts moving. And then that health is just not going to matter. Eight, oh! Six. Down to six. Not that big of a deal. Plenty of circle to work with. But Pink Lip doesn't have a lot of life. No heals in the pocket. No meditative. Yeah, they're going to have team to... Comp on triopsy. Gonna sneak in these quick snaps just so you can get some the superstar meter. Yeah, and also activate the rude perk. Get yeah. that extra power. Keep that Old refreshed. Bakery taking out Triopsy, then getting down right away. We got all the movement from RV and Messiah. Circle, this circle's gonna start moving soon. It's been it's been a while in the, at this size. It's gonna start shrinking and moving very soon. Oh, get the oh, the inescapable into the wall. The book Not much damage. The, the that little suplexing out. Ooh, I like Ooh, the attempt. For it. Why not, right? It was, it was almost over with. Uh-oh, Edge! Seven. Caught Edge dancing. Didn't do any <laughs> oh, damage, boy. though. Yeah, he missed the follow-up. It's unfortunate. It happens. Bakery. We haven't seen much Bakery tonight. Yeah, Bakery's been uh, getting eliminated a little bit earlier in most games, but is, is hanging out here in the top ten. In game like four. Taking out lemon berry. Top nine now for a whole bakery. AKA oh. burnt toast. <laughs> I like I bakery's uh, toast today. special move loadout. You play it right with the correct spacing. Uh, you can go pretty far with a, with a goal shot and a super zoom drop. Yeah, you just got to make sure you don't throw yourself in the water until it's right, time. Right, right, right. Viking taking out pink lip. That's another KO, another 100 points for him. With the dive kick. It's like I'm putting up numbers. Bakery just picking up the books. Take the books Trying off to get the that field. knowledge. Yeah. The whole library. <laughs> Still that one little edge of a tree right up top that one person can stand on. And I think uh, Lariat God is up there just chilling. Yeah. That Omega Cyclone dive kick combo is very potent. Yeah, I like the Psychon is also using the dive kick to pick up other people's knockdowns too. Yep. Yeah. With that, a little bit of extra damage, maybe uh, get a KO and uh, get some points. I'm sure he would have really liked to have the satisfaction perk this game because he was really scoring KOs, but he, yeah. he does not have it. I feel like he's probably also caused some KOs with like a nice stamina break from the dive Edge. kick, whether he is the one finishing it or not. For sure. Edge is playing the most Tupperware build I've ever seen with a 5-3-2 super duper and super zoner drop. This Love is, it. This is me. <laughs> Edge has been real consistent tonight, you know, making these top eights. Just needs one breakthrough performance to be become a threat for the, the first place seat. Yeah. Well, also just like me, Edge is pretty good. Not quite as good, you know, I'm in the best, but... Of course. Big punish? No, Psyche gets you out will, of there. You will never know. Oh, in the book! <laughs> still, still is floating! All these, all these book throws. <laughs> Everybody's book just throws trying to share are, their knowledge, uh, man. Yeah, they're better than they used to be, just because uh, they don't give your opponent 25 meter anymore. At, at least at this stage of the game. They used to give your opponent way too much meter, and now, uh, because you don't build meter on defense uh, as the game goes on, you're actually not fueling your opponents by throwing them, so it kind of ups the value of the book toss. With a nourishing roar from Mole. Yeah. Just it's a back. Life back. Sticking back, healing up, staying Double out of vicious, trouble. Double vicious, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's going right. It's so slow. Uh, he's, he does have two special special move magazines, so when he feels the need to switch, he can probably. Yeah, yeah he's prepared for that this time. I like the strat, keeping keeping nourishing roar specifically, trying to stay out of trouble. 
Triumph is still very healthy. The strat is working, but he has not made that special move switch that we anticipated earlier yet. I guess he hasn't found something that he wants to switch to, or hasn't found the time to do it, because he does have three books in the pocket. Mm hmm He's got options. Nice clash with Lariat God. Oh, tries to dash out of the way, but gets clipped. The 1-1-2 one, one, doesn't do that much damage, though. Nobody else picks it up. Book toss gets interrupted by Edge. Is this going to be the game? Is this going to be the game where eight players are being forced into the water? God, I hope Is so. The water time? I hope so. I want to see it. Triumph just got real cheap. Oh. He's using the book yeah. toss and vicious. Yep, he just switched to vicious mist. He got rid of the sumo slap, so now he's going to be able to set up those unblockables. Dyke is feeling all right, though. He walked away 800 plus HP. Yeah, the damage isn't going to be high. Like he can set up the unblockable, great. But yeah, he's going to have to do it several water. times. He's zero arms. He's green super kick. Like it's just not going to hurt. That's probably the uh, strongest thing he can do is brainbuster after yeah. he opens you up yeah. with that unblockable. Yeah, yep. just go yep. straight into it, or maybe charge shop yeah. into it for sure. But even then, on flat ground, he's not even getting 300 for that, you know? Yeah. So it's just not super, super threatening, uh, damage-wise at least. I think Triumph is, is feeling pretty confident right now. This is this is a comfortable spot. Got a bunch of greens. He's going to heal up. If not, he's going to farm super with those emotes, play it yeah, smart. Yeah, but also he's fighting Psyker right, right now. now. Uh -oh. Who is known to not let people live. Oh, this is another charge job. This is a charge job. That's two this game for Saiken. Un unbelievable. Missed it. Somebody creeped up behind him and was, was trying to interrupt. Uh, he had to stop. GK takes out Larry of God. He got hurt pretty bad for it, too. Saiken got third partied there. GK is a lot of health as well. What are you doing, Taking Taken? Memory for an opportunity to do something? I don't know. Just looking for probably, scraps. Yeah, probably looking you know? at stuff. Yeah. Look at Mole in the bush. Nobody is even I bothering him. There, there we go. go. <laughs> He's getting away with it. He's got uh, he's on the cusp of his third perk here in you know minute twenty five of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think his next name change should probably be Take a Breather. I think <laughs> I think that's what he's doing in these bushes. Yeah. Nice catch. Okay, Ooh, wait a minute. Big stamina break. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. He did manage to give him a little that nourishing roar. Rings moving not towards the water. We're gonna that have a journey. That sucks. Here. I want them to see the water. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been so funny. It would have been pretty good. Seven players left as our ring starts to move. Six now. Psycho so takes out Bakery. KO. On fire. Taken out of there. GK finding himself in his first top five tonight. Just Another like that. On fire. Yep. Switching books. Switching to the giant swing. Wants to get that displacement. Yep, this is going to hurt your timer. See you later. Notice he's using giant swing and not big swing. Yeah, that's what he's got in his pocket. Because big swing sucks. No, big swing is great. He had both of them in his hand, and he threw Big Swing away. And he said, that's, you suck. That's a lie. That's, I saw it happen. It's live on stream. Twitch.tv slash Tupperware. Tupperware, you're a game mode, not a genre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huge Mole? stamina break. Mole really in trouble? For Mole. So long, Ski Bowser. <laughs> Took a little There's bit not, of that not, nourishing oh. roar. He has super as well, too. He, does he have to pop? He's God, going he to it. regardless. He made it back with Oof. three seconds to spare. Straight into Oof. a bush, but he's glowing. He's a spotlight on him in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big elbow. Still all They'll right. never Thanks see me here. Dude, this guy's play style is pure comedy. <laughs> Triumph snipes him as he uh, three, ledges up here. Two. Two. He's got two, Getting but he can, yeah, so he's going to be able to stay at the bottom and chill for a while now. Fourth place is still going to be a good amount of points for him, though, for someone who's yeah, doing yeah. real well tonight. Oh, yeah, Mole will not good. be out of it. Even if he took fourth no. right now, yeah, he would not be out of it at all. A lot of consistency, but we have Triumph, who has a win tonight. We have Psyche, uh -oh. who has a win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's huge. That's Does he have the stamina? This time There's no way. Oh, 
the he spring? spring correctly, maybe. It's not over yet. It's oh, not over. Good. He had the spring. Oh, he got the spring. Good. He's good. He's fine. He knows what, what where that bounce pad was. So he can that is just that is amazing game sense because my dumb ass have been climbing up the side of that. <laughs> Great game sense. <laughs> yeah. Those are the type of plays that separate like the great from the incredible. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not even joking. Just finding that spring is just so smart. Seems little, but it's huge. We're taking a detour. Find that stuff. Mole is grinding his own health back into the game with his nourishing roar. Like he, he is, man. The like game plan is working over and over again, and then he just finds enough time to let this nourishing roar do the work. And it's slow, man. It's real slow. Yeah. But they're letting him. It's working. Yeah, it's really cool to see roars actually come into play tonight in these solo games. It I has, sure yeah. That would happen, but it's neat. I, I would not have guessed. No, I know you wouldn't have. Yeah, I do not believe in roars in, in single play, solo play. I I believe in the energizing roar specifically, but that's not the one we've seen tonight. So, uh, very interesting. All if GK these, wins uh, this game, things become very very interesting. Yeah, for sure. Do you remember where he's left uh, last left off? He is at Play about somewhere? four thousand something points, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Hops into the mix of folks in contention. Absolutely, yeah. It looks like all four of our players are going to make the journey across the mountaintop like we had last game. Like, it looks like they're all going to make it. Just no. around the river bend. So, you know, well, there... once we come down the mountain, at the angle we're going at, once we come down this mountain, what's going to happen is we're going to hit a lot of flat ground. Uh, well, what's going to happen is Sykin's going to take out Bull and then get third party. Our yeah, top three is Triumph, Saiken, and GK. This is really, 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 really incredible stuff. He could not ask for something better. Stop, uh, trying to stop Triumph from meditating. And while he's doing that, Saiken is meditating. <laughs> so, I, you can only, you gotta pick one, right? I guess. Yeah, no, we got the season one meditation action going on. <laughs> and, and Triumph is in first, so take yeah. him. Once we get to the flat ground at the bottom, there's just going to be nowhere for these folks to go. It's going to be it's just going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a total war. Yeah, say try like and try and to... triumph trying to eke out every little bit of value they can from that meditate because the resources are super. Good. I think Sykin is low health and no super, right? Yeah, and he's not going to get any from taking damage either. Gets out of the right. book toss vicious mist. Has used the full value of his meditative so far. Yeah. He's not going to get as much value out of it as Triumph can just because of the stat differential, right? Yep. yep. The, the yep. seven green versus the four green. It makes a huge difference in this situation. Whoa, get caught eating something. Ooh! Oh, no. That was huge. Like busted up. Flying. GK up to the Triumph with the follow up and the stamina break. It's like it's back. <laughs> you love to see someone chase the ledge. The ledge dive, you gotta love to see that, man. Yes. Gets caught. Not dodging out of the end of that. Almost Cyclone. a star meter. It's fighting for it. Eke out some value here. The, the meditate value is... is that they're both getting is pretty impressive. They're getting a lot out of it, considering the moving ring and the Absolutely. situation. Yep. I think if if one of these players had meditate instead of two of them having it, the one that had it would be getting a lot less value. Uh, but because two of them have it, you basically have that situation where uh, GK is just kind of trying to flow between the two of them and stop them both from using it. But it right. heals up so fast that they're really just both getting the value. Can we talk real quick about how Psychon has nine perks though? Yeah. This could yeah. be a monster win if he gets a dub. It's like in style, he's, he's so... so GK is never going to give up! Never oh. going to give up! Is he going to pop? He is going to pop. Yeah, he wants that healing. Super. I think it's interesting that Saiken didn't try to swing back he on any of those. He just kept trying to dodge. What luck to have found a chicken right there. Well, it may Dodge not matter. The edge, yep. Tries to chase it, doesn't work. You see the chicken eat? No. Not taking the risk. Triumph pockets the box. 
Only has four Ooh, seconds flash. though. I am timer's low. Yeah, that's, that's back a factor. Lands it. Uh -oh. Just gonna kick him? Yeah, yeah. I, I respect Just that. Take, I respect take that. Take the pot and out. <laughs> Iris too low. Had to abandon it. Oh, gets trapped. No, he missed it properly. Uh oh. Four three. Timer. We're, we are getting down to it. This is all flat ground throughout the rest of the beach, I think. Might get to a rocky structure or two. Throwing him, yep. yep. So that's the way the circle's moving, though. Headed, oh, one. no! Thing here. Throws him backwards this time. That's more what you want. Burn <laughs> yeah, that's more where you want to throw him, but... This, the timer is going to be a, a huge factor very soon, and Triumph only has three. He's going to need to, to bounce at least Psyken, right? Well, that giant swing is going to be a massive factor very soon because he's going to be able to aim it towards the water instead, and it won't matter how much DQ time you have left. That, I mean, that's true as well, but... Psyken takes the high ground on top of the statue. Here we go. Water's getting close enough that Psyken could make something happen. Here we go. go. One go box in contention. Yeah, we are going to go up the hill a little bit. Slightly up the hill, but pretty much into the water. Big item toss. Can't see. The tree's in the way. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, going up. GK looking to stay out of it, hoping that makes that fun. final two. Hopefully they deal with their... So you should not that. What that are you really thinking? Missed. Oh no! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is this is all a, a problem. Is he? In? No, no. GK is still right, technically in. Getting there. spun up. That yeah, that's huge. Doesn't have superstar to break the weapon hole. Play. This could be the difference maker. Oh no! Oh, he gets the water. difference. All right. <laughs> Snipes him out of the air. One, one, Wait, two! Did Triumph just win? Uh, Triumph takes it! Triumph takes it! The snipe from Psychic sealed his oh, own fate! Shit. You hate to see it! What a finish! Oh, yeah, it was and with those two specifically, right? Like, people are already at the top trying to secure the top. Triumph comes out on top. I'm watching it on the delay on the replay. I gotta see it again. Oh my god! Oh, that, oh, that, that, that knock on the what rocket jump with the item throw is perfect. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what a fucking snipe. Jeez. Top shelf. I got, I got to wonder, like, uh, Psyching was pretty close to the edge, right? What if he had rolled down? Because I think there was a little bit more ledge left to explore. Yeah, that was, I don't know. <laughs> Risky for him, for sure, either way. Right, 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 right. Man, that was amazing. That was, well, that was incredible. Well, Prime has two wins tonight. That doesn't mean hey. he's guaranteed to win, but he's right. already well, he in was, first. He was oh, already right. in first, yeah. yeah. He was already in first. That that may do it for the winner, but I'm sure second through eighth place is not solidified by any means. Oh, my goodness. Either way, holy shit, what a game. <laughs> I need to know what Triumph oh. had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today, oh, and excellent. the other big grapples, because, like, what? Yeah. Excellence, apparently. <laughs> I think mathematically, Saiken could probably still win if he takes first next game and is still putting up the types of damage numbers he has been putting up. Yeah. I think it's possible. Yeah. yeah. I see it. I'm not good at math, but I believe in the person that is good at math, which is you. But it also depends on Triumph's performance. Like, Saiken would have to have a very good performance, a first place with a lot of damage, and then Triumph would have to have a very bad performance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I many think. variables in this yeah. 40 player brawler royale. Triumph not known for having a bad reform performance. <laughs> we'll just say that. Yep, so, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I believe scores are being updated at the moment. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm talking, doing some TOing stuff. But yeah, they yeah, are being updated whole, at the moment. Yeah, I'm just letting the, the stream know. Uh, the scores are coming very shortly. Um, that last game, though, the ending of that, that's that's a clip for the ages, for sure. Yep. Uh, that wow. one, you better be throwing up this whole VOD yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw it on YouTube. I'll, throw the, I'll just toss the whole thing on YouTube immediately after this. I mean, 
we've all seen the clips of people having the pocket rocket jump, putting it on right when you get the ring gets to the water, you know, using that to kind of timer scam people out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we all know it's a great move, but like, Sykin was ready. <laughs> GK started playing, making that play. Sykin threw the cricket bat at him, knocked his ass in the water. Of course, he, uh, you know, he dodged after that and got thrown in the water himself. But I think that moment right there for me is, is play of the night. Uh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, that, that is play of maybe Rumbleverse for me, the ending of that game. That was just... Beautiful. Couldn't couldn't be better. Couldn't <laughs> be better. That was incredible. Uh, but yeah, we are getting scores tallied right now. Um, we'll update you guys with that as soon as possible. I'm getting ready to uh, launch into the final game as well, so I'm changing my outfit. It's important. It has to be done. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Oh, Utah. You gotta, you gotta go out with Utah. SCGK's uh, message in the chat, I thought no one had weapons left. Yeah, I. when you get that far in the match, right, you just, you just kind of hope. You, you uh, cross your fingers. Yeah. And But those those random crates that come into play uh, with the moving rings, you just never really know, especially if you're focused on that 1v1 when there's that third person out outside, different level. Like, what are they thinking or scheming? Didn't have to be a weapon. Could have been a pod. Could have been a, a chicken or a one bite left of nachos. Could have been anything, really, yeah. except for a book. Mm -hmm. I think we're waiting on Tay's picture. Or maybe I already sent it and Cohen missed it. Either way, we're getting it figured out. And then we'll launch into... Or I'll, I'll show you guys the scores. And we'll uh, get going on the final game. Sonic is requesting five additional matches, uh, but then canceled that request and is now requesting we just continue to play scored matches with this group all the way through the 28th. Of this <laughs> just month. never stop. Just keep it and, going. Uh, we'll see who wins after. Uh, what is it like? How many days will have? 10 straight days of gameplay? Yeah. We'll do it like Capcom Cup. We'll do it for a week straight. That's a lot, man. <laughs> it's a lot. So that was not the final. There's one more game left. There is one so more game. The there is one more game. Game four. So I, I think the scores are fully updated now. So I'll switch over to that scene so everybody can see it. Uh, things are not set in stone. We have four, three players that potentially could still overtake Triumph score. Uh, so you see Triumph is in first place with 30,187 points. Sykin in second place with 21,619 points. Flea Guy in third place with 18,075. Mole in fourth place with 14,997. And Tay in fifth place with 10,376. Mole, Flea Guy, and Sykin can all still win. Yeah. With, 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 with a lot of damage done and a W, they'll, they'll, they'll overtake Triumph score. Uh, so assuming assuming Triumph doesn't also have a great game, but yeah. good luck there. Um, but yeah, it's, talking, it's not impossible. Yeah, for sure. And we're talking, you know, you get 10K, 10,000 points for a first place, regardless of how much damage or KOs mm -hmm. you get, right? If you look at Triumph's total score right now, just the total, 30,187, right? 30,000, that means he's won two games tonight out of the four, which is incredible, but he's enough points to have won th three games. And he got all those extra points from you know playing consistently in the matches he didn't win and placing decently, but also putting up really good damage numbers, getting lots of KOs. So he's, he's earned quite a lot of points from those values tonight. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Of course, the damage leader by a mile, it looks like a Saiken. Saiken's put up a phenomenal amount of damage points, but Triumph is edging him out on KOs, actually. Mm -hmm. I imagine if Triumph had one more game of that amount of damage. It'd be, it'd be a lot closer. Yeah. Uh, but he couldn't connect that first game, unfortunate. Either way, he's not out of the running. You know, he can still win. He's very, mm -hmm. very much in there. So if Triumph, if, if Triumph doesn't clutch it out and Saiken wins with four games, uh, he should just talk shit forever that he only needed four games to win. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really anyways. unfortunate. In the first game, this could have been a very different story. Yeah. So I'm going to launch the, the final game. This is it, boys. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks to all the players playing. Keith, Keenan, appreciate you guys. Of course. Investigation Cone, I know you're out there. You already know, man. The call is coming from inside the channel. <laughs> <laughs>
Spooky. So many narratives of tonight's matches. Triumph, the, the consistent successor of the big grapple. Saikin missing the first game. Mole sticking it around with his playstyle despite the change in yeah, um, I can't believe that, how, man. how scoring is working out. Yep, showing that it still functions. He can still place well with that that playstyle. Yeah. I'm expecting an incredible match today. I hope Welcome back, Utah. Utah had to bring us into the last one. Could be no one else. I feel that. Remember that Game five. This will decide who gets first and who makes top eight and gets into that money. Yeah. Like we said yeah, earlier. This game has a lot of implications. Yeah, first place is going to get about uh, 1800 bucks, but eighth place is still going to make about $120. Yep. So it's a pretty good payday if you can make uh, eighth place. While everybody's joining up, we can take uh, another look at that score sheet. Let's see who's like right on the cusp of that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Frosted Phoenix uh realistic whole bakery pink lip triopsy stepdad right all these players in this area they're yep. they're a, they're a win away from boosting all the way up into like close to 500 bucks so there's a whole bunch yep. of players in this this middle area here that if they pulled out a dub in the last game they're they're feeling pretty damn good i like outside of the, the top four outside of the top four anyone yeah plenty yeah. To, plenty plenty of room to contest here for Anyone's sure. that went away from getting in the money, even at the For very, very sure. bottom of the list. But uh, and, even and uh, we, we can uh, see the, the payouts here too. I mean, yeah, I mean, even clean yeah. second or third place from some of those people, kind of in the middle of the pack, could propel them into the money, depending on how other players Look, play. Man, if you, if you, if you, yeah, if you propel yourself into third or fourth place, you can basically buy yourself a PS5. You can get a new mm -hmm. GPU. Like that's not bad. <laughs> we got twenty-five players in. 26 well 25 actually <clears throat> 20 okay yeah we're 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 getting to everybody here Okay, so two players dropped out. They can oh, the really? final game. I don't. I don't know who it was, okay. I, I, the, but two players have notified IC they are not playing. So we're full. This is it then. All right. Good luck to the the twenty seven, twenty six. Uh, Kuther and Mister Hospitality have both dropped out. Were either of gotcha. them in the running for money? Uh, Kuther was not. Mr. Hospital. I mean, either of them could have ended up everyone's running. in the running. For if money. they would have won a game, yeah, they, 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 yeah, exactly. Technically, everyone is. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, unfortunate they couldn't finish, but thanks for playing, guys. Appreciate it, anyways. Yeah. Thanks for participating. <clears throat> we'll see if this has any impact on final ring or uh, initial ring sizes. Yeah, I'm not sure what the well, cutoff. It are won't. It won't. Nah. It'll be the same. Okay. I think it goes by fives, so you wouldn't see a difference between 28 and 26. You would see a difference between like 26 and 24, because that crosses the 25 threshold. I think that's how I had set it up, but I did that like two years ago, so <laughs> my memory of it's a little foggy. Yeah. Probably longer than two years ago, actually, when we set that up.
That's a professional like camera operator if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Just wanted to remind you to check hey, out it's the Keats. All new island. It's not me. That's you. Somebody stole my outfit. That's actually not exactly my outfit either. They, they that's got probably clothes. that's probably whole bakery. <laughs> I wear uh, bunny slippers and uh, here we go, boys. Last sometimes game I wear a dress ever. shirt. Sometimes I wear that sweatshirt, the open sweatshirt. With, Listen, no uh, one wants to hear about your outfit. It's the last game ever. Let's go. Get hyped. Here we go. He copied my outfit wrong. It's messed up, man. Listen, no, no, no one cares. It's disrespectful. Oh, man. Every unicorn that doesn't wear my outfit got mine one wrong, too. You know what? Disrespectful. You're, you're ridiculous. Battle Royale is a game, though. When I, when I think of Unicorn, I think of, I think of you and I think of Gutter. Alright, here we go. We many, grab there's not many Unicorns. Yeah. Our final game of the evening and our perhaps yeah. final competitive goodbye to Rumbleverse is going to be on the Grapital City side. Could, yeah, I say it could only end on Grapital City. Come on, man. What a story. KP with his beta testers uh, thing on, playing his... Took it off. Yeah, yeah he's playing it. his normal, Rock normal his costume. Fit. When I play duos with him and I ask him to dress up in a team costume, he goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta dress up as the Smurfs again one more time before it closes. Yeah, for sure. That was a good night. Pretty sure someone else in the Discord also rocked that same outfit. So either yeah. they saw you guys or they thought the same thing. Edge with a ridiculous random outfit. Taking a moment to get some pods in the system. Stops ticking, and the ring never stops closing in on our competitors. Larry of God. Switching it up. Two. Has a yellow pod. Now two Ooh. legs pods in his build for this match. Trying to run his way into the points. Trying to get in that top eight. He took a lot of time off of the game, but uh, he's still out here playing pretty well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to give you an idea of how uh, out of touch he is, he didn't know about the book Vicious bug, <laughs> the inescapable, oh, yeah. and he didn't know what a ski jump was. He had to learn both of those things for this event. Wow. We haven't seen much of Mike tonight. It's true. Let's check it out. Mike 3P, pipe in hand, cruising down the streets looking for trouble. He finds trouble, but then doesn't take the opportunity. Maybe he wants to finish topping off that superstar meter first. I don't blame yeah. him. Right next to the water. Watch out. Here comes Ryan. I know he wanted a different angle on that second hit. He wanted to blast him towards the edge of the, the road there. Towards the water. Oof, Mike on the run. And here's oh, Ryan with the stamina break. Mike does have a super. Here. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing he finished building it. He is in trouble. Here comes the pipe. Oof. Oh, Wall spot, no conversion. Follow. Mike gets away with it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He would have been cooked. Or down at the very there. least. Yeah, yeah, I love how he took the corner with that pole swing, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find a break, I imagine. Uh, yep. Yep, here we go. Chomp on that chicken. I want a spot to eat the other one too. Taking memory. Just finishing the pod build with a 055. Dole the purple book. Yeah, that's a that's a traditional take a memory setup. Wants to keep the book for later and chose to eat the chicken now. Very interesting considering the health was already very high. Yeah. Prefers the weapons and the stamina drink in there. Gets that extra chicken anyways. Yep, might trade this one out for the stamina drink or something. Or one of the weapons, it looks like, yeah. Hold it on to the stamina drink for now. Lee guy takes out Bakery. I think that solidifies Bakery is not in the money. Sorry, homie. 
GG's? Yeah, GG's, thanks for playing. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, whole bakery, but you will remain burnt toast. <laughs> Got her magic trying to scurry away from casual Tay. Looks like he does make enough of a break to get an opportunity to maybe loot a little bit more. Switching over to automatic. Have a little rooftop skirmish. He's got the uppercut punchline combo. The combo I enjoy myself. Nice cricket back. A lot of durability if he needs a trade in a weapon fight. Yep, and he's rocking the five-three-two build. Good build. Punch Psychin line got down by chill. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that action because I don't even hear it on my screen. But oof! Great King Gene is out of there. Thanks for playing Kinder Party. Appreciate you, Mang. Automatic now mixing it up with gutter magic, taking some risks. Whoa! Ooh, just standing there. Glee guy with a down, unrealistic. Jumps in, swinging a sandal. I'm I'm torn between watching who's on screen, and then the 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 KO feed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get a glance up every once in a while. Tay is downed as well by Pink Lip. Glee guy out. Is out. He is oh, out. Wow. Oh, oh my. What? Glee looks so strong in game one. Yeah, that's probably going to guarantee Saiken, not guarantee, but almost guarantee Saiken second place, at least. At the least, yeah. Depends on where he places, but... Yeah, Ooh, it also depends man. on how old it is, I think, as well. After like game Saiken. one, I was I was thinking it was going to be a flea guy night. Yeah. KP he was looking really strong. Ooh! <laughs> I, like I like the, the attempt. attempt. To yeah, that was smart. I see the vision, you know? Yes, agreed. Oh no, gets clipped. Oh, and Ooh, super. And super. Unfortunate. Gutter Magic okay. is out of there. He's got a super if he needs it. Good fake yeah. out on the jump away. That was smooth movement. Yeah, I liked it. Lemon Berry Juice out of there to 56k. Up by his local squats. Nothing available at the moment. Yeah, there's like five over here waiting <laughs> for it to pop up. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's on And GK over here. is out of there. <laughs> by a ring out. I wish we would have caught that. Automatic just took out Chill. He did, yeah. Perhaps <laughs> he's down automatic. Down himself. Let's see if I can get over to that side. I'm not sure if I'll GK be able to. GK was DQ'd? Yeah, GK is out of there. Yeah. Too. Tay still yelling at him now with the yurt nourishing roar. Man. Triops, he takes out automatic Katana Prime downing Mike 3P player. This is a bloodbath. Yeah. The most Every surprising second thing tonight eating. has been the amount, the amount of roar we're seeing, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I did not expect that. You gave me 10 guesses on things that would happen that I wouldn't expect normally. I would not have guessed that <laughs> being one of them. <laughs> yeah. It was very, very, very unexpected. At least for me. Oh, uh, apparently GK crashed. Oh, uh, yeah. no. Dude, unfortunate. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry, GK. Simon. That's such a shitty way for that to end. Sorry, man. Yeah. Honey Fox oh, is taking out Mike. Yeah, unfortunately. But Triumph is still in there. Did you just call him Butt Triumph? I said, and a Triumph is still in there. Oh. Nine, he's trying to do a seven three a zero seven three six. build again. It looks like he's enjoying the uh, enjoying that. He's got the nourishing roar as well. So a couple players are rocking that right now and trying to get the stability and save the resources for later. Yeah. Uh, especially during this middle part of the game, I see he's got a book in the pocket too, so he probably has a backup to switch to when it's time. Glass is up. Someone probably Ooh, snagged it by now. Yeah. More crates are on the way. Time to scramble. Seventeen. Taking memory. Left. He'll fit there to heal. No, he doesn't need to heal. Actually, he's fine. Just wants to get away from folks for a minute. A few vendors around here. 
Yeah. A lot of people looking looking to see how they can fill out their pockets. Get some moosels, maybe get some squats. If you sneak out of the ring a little bit to the south, there's a, a nacho vendor and another moosels down the way as well. Definitely a vendor, Harry. Doing uh, heavy part damage of the Yeah. Oh, here Peace we go. For it. Realistic. Right over the squats building. Give me this garbage can. <laughs> Delivers them to the garbage can. Oh, good dodge. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's just doing backflips next to each other. Yeah. That great god is out to stepdad Ryan. GG's, Larry God. Thanks for playing, Tyler. Glad I got to see you play one last time. Fifteen people left, and we're not at the final ring yet. Mm -hmm. I think in general, our final rings have been quite a bit less crowded than in season one. Even if we just and, go on percentages. And season two. <laughs> yeah. Oop, spotted. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how all the changes are playing out. Yeah, That's I mean, I, I'll, I'll look fun. at things that after after the event, but maybe I would do something slightly different. But otherwise, yeah. I think the scoring system is working out as I intended it to. Yeah, scoring aside, just trying to improve the pace of an end game both feeling-wise and watchability-wise, I think. Uh, the changes we made have made a massive impact, and I'm pretty happy with it. Fifteen people left. Six, Gregory, what are you up to? Five, Everyone's here looking to make a, a final splash and get into that money or secure their spot. I love the amount of people wearing their, like, classic go-to skins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's cute. <laughs> Brings a tear to my everyone. eye. You can see everyone's personality, yeah. <laughs> 56k mode of mash and charging star right now. You got to, man. <laughs> Get about eight people in front of them. Just do it. Yep. Rift all, all three of them. Edge going out early. That's going to hurt his placing. Sure is. He was very consistent tonight. He was, yeah. Hopefully he did a lot of damage before he went out here. Yeah, we'll see how it checks out. Woo, big tackle. From Saiken. I wonder if Saiken's rocking high arms again. 56k modem sneaking away for a little bite to eat. Grabbing the popcorn party. I'm securing another KO. KO. Yeah. Triumph is the KO leader tonight. Yeah. Definitely very good at finishing the job. Filthy Even third party. Damages. Don't give him credit. You're a He's filthy third party here. Than... Oh my god, that, three in a row. Three choke slams in a row? <laughs> Craig's like, damn, chill, like, alright. Get, get me out of here. <laughs> I admit it, I can't it's dodge just, it. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this is gonna cause a lot of chaos, this popcorn party he just dropped. He's not even really getting the benefit. No, man, he got choke slammed again. Yeah. There you go. Nice reactions <laughs> into KP finishing him off. <laughs> of course, he's gonna go for the choke slab the sixth time. It worked the first five he, times. He has, he has meditative too. Yeah. But you know, how do you get to use that in this this mess? Yeah, that's a great question. You're gonna have to get up top and, and find an edge of the ring that people aren't clumping in at the moment, Ooh, I guess. Stripped. Storm books right. trying to earn yeah, some meter. Trying to get the meter. He needs it. Plus one. <laughs> Plus one to that superstar meter. Worth it. Yep, absolutely. He's trying to find an edge here where people won't be behind him, but every time he gets to one, somebody gets thrown out of the ring right the on the other party side. Party saved him! Oh, but the yeah. dummy punchline! He's gonna have to find a place to meditate, or at the very. Oh. He's done. He's cooked. Oh, time comes in, yep. Yeah. Realistic is out as well with a choke slam. Thanks for playing, Greg. Appreciate you. Big book toss. Yeah, and realistic hit. is out of there. Thanks for playing real. Town of Prime with the big damage. AP's on a rampage. He wants that money. 
I feel that. <laughs> AP, AP said, I got a son, because I'm a dad. <laughs> a cool dad. Ooh, oh, what oh, the oh, hell weird. was that? That was so weird. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll fix it in the next patch. Mm -hmm, Honey mm -hmm. Foxy gets the combo into the super. Combo gonna down nice. triumph. Uh oh. Uh oh, triumph. Ooh. Sykin is still in there, right? Hey. Sykin's still in there. Hey, triumph hey is down. still in there. Down. Time for the nourishing roar. Gonna yeah. slowly but surely get back in it here. Snap and getting the quick also talk meditate. Off. I like it. Yeah, get off the building. Yeah, I mean, another oh, oh, from behind. Oh, oh, oh day with the, with the, the recognition. Big hit. Where is Sykin? Did Syke, who did Sykin get bopped by? He must be out. Yeah, I don't see him. Who bopped him? We must have missed it. I, I, I guess that. so. Must have missed it. All right, well, Mole was still in that running, too. Sure, absolutely. Playing <laughs> Demon. I respect it. <laughs> he went with a seven arms build this time. But he still he has, like, no perks. He still didn't do any damage. <laughs> He's oh, rocking man. high arms with Nourishing Roar and Choke Slam, which is it, just, you'd like, love to not see a way it. to get damage. You'd love to see it. No, I think this is the yeah. best build I've ever seen. It's so weird. I love it's it. I respect this so I, much I right now. I can't comprehend on a, on a deeper level. I, I love this. Nourishing War costs 70 stamina, too, so playing that with zero legs is kind of tough. Take a memory out of there. Katana yeah. Prime on Casual a roll. Pink Lip taking out Tay. Everybody that dies of Triumph is just like, yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I think the deal might be sealed for Triumph's victory here already. Yeah, but we've without a lot of without Psyche, well, the money here. Yeah, without Psyche, unless Triumph goes down like now ish, Mole can I still, still have a chance. Done deal. Because Mole's yeah, damage I, is I guess with, Yeah, I guess without Mole doing the damage, yeah, it might be, it might yeah. be Triumph's night already. Either I way, I wouldn't deal. want him to, to get away with it for free. I'd be trying to fight him. Yeah, for sure. Handful of roars coming into play, especially in this final match. You say Ryan wishes they had a roar. <laughs> all those books on the ground. If you're if you're <laughs> still playing roar at this point with all those books on the ground, that's because you want to be. Yeah, for sure. You don't have to switch right now if it's helping you stay alive. You can get uh, out of there. Pocket a book and switch later. <laughs> Did he catch it? Him out of bounds. Fully Don't charge uppercut. Four. Don't do it. If you stay in the three. <laughs> oh, the KB play in the ring yeah. still? Yeah. That's what he does, man. I know he wants that W though. You gotta you gotta not press as hard as you would in a in a pub game. Well, right now whatever he's been doing has been Ooh. working. Ooh, nice. So keep doing it. Dashed by, got the perfect bait. Worked again. Didn't punish that time though. He's just yeah, dashing past him, and every time he does, uh, he's, he's he's baiting a dodge out. Mole getting one tooed by the whole room. Gets out of the situation though. Gonna take it to KP. Oh, that's yeah, that's not off with the block. That's safe. <laughs> Almost. KP said, "I'm flexing." Yep. He got away with it. A couple of these people have quite a few weapons left in the pockets, too. Oh, big super's going off here. Uh, caught by the chair and trying to pull off the super. It's time. Time to go for a walk across Grapple City. Got that Ryan out of there. Triumph this just is hit a spin. I don't know if his super expired there. He just wasn't looking for yeah, it. Yeah, I think the that he was super to run out. Uh, 
That's that's what I would imagine. It was so low that he just didn't want to risk it and get the regular yeah. vicious. I think we're headed to low key key if we live long enough. <laughs> It'll take a while. We, we are, are heading east. east. We've had, I think, four or five players left when the ring starts moving almost every single time tonight as well. I like that. It's the, the evolution of the ring. Yeah, I think the scoring system and, and the way the ring is works, and I think it's all worked out pretty well. Huge. Especially for our first try. Hopefully we'll get another one in the future. Huge damage on Mole there. Uh, kind of, you know, I really don't think Mole could do anything to catch in the points, no. but if no. it is possible, you know, Triumph really needs to make sure Mole goes down. More than <laughs> A clip with the uppercut in the air. Hold in that nice oh. Nice spot, well Chuck. Oh, they're coming out for you, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone awesome. spotted you. Say, you ain't safe there. That's fantastic. <laughs> Man, so dynamic. All, all this great movement from all the players. A lot of flat ground here. To, we're going to go across uh, the I tennis court suit. and a parking lot. There's going to be nowhere to go. We will not make it to the river. But, yeah, but Ponza, Ponza posted in the chat, hey, if we keep heading in this direction, maybe we make it to the horn on Loki Key. <laughs> we might, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we make it to the river, which I don't think we will, uh, yeah, there's no true. way the match isn't over before the river crossing is complete. There's no way two people make it across the river, is, is, is what I'm saying. As Skip Legger Day says, anything's possible. If we make it across the river, you got to reveal the secret, a season three secret. Five. Oh no, Katana, Katana Prime, Prime is out. out there. Got fifth place, it was a good run. Yeah, I'm not sure if he'll be game. in the money yeah. or not, but we'll, we'll find out after this game. It's going to be close. Yeah. Ooh. Pink lip? Two seconds. The roar. The roar edge guard. Emperor Mole has been extremely consistent tonight. Another mm -hmm. top four placing. Triopsy and Triumph. Two roars in this top that, four. That that Triumph, man. I mean, it, can we can we just can we just call him the best player? At this yes. point, I, I, he's the best, right? Like there's, no there's doubt. no, I don't, I don't think you can debate it. He's the best. Yeah. It's decided. I mean, you he, have to he take got the best triple players crown. from other regions as well, and and get them all together somehow to really, really, but really in, know. But I would say I in, in, in the United States. That consistent. In the United States, yeah. Overall, NA. Triumph is is the best. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm confident saying NA. Yeah. I'm confident saying worldwide as well, but to really know, we'd have to organize yeah. something. Yeah. That is not possible to organize. So, uh, but I haven't seen this level of consistency out of anyone else really in in this type of setting. Oh, the wall splat picks it up uh. with a little bit of a mega cyclone action. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of damage potential. He's, he doesn't have brain buster. Uh, air vicious attack isn't going to do that much. Got the nourishing roar and the omega cyclone. No arms. So this is really just a game of survival for Triumph. Yep. Uh, and still, and still pushing with only nine pods only. Yeah, but I mean, seriously, he's put up really good damage numbers, all things considered. Yep. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least three or four KOs. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he'll be the KO leader overall tonight as well. Pink Lip's still in it. Yeah, still in there, fighting, just, fighting for his life. This is their best performance of the night as well. They're just that screaming at each other. Is that a is that a third nourishing roar now? Who's who doesn't have nursing roar? I never would have predicted that. Bro, I would Rua not would have been meta in here. No, I would not have either. I can't. <laughs> not I a chance. So shocked. Would have been my absolute dead last guess. <laughs> Incredible. 
There were some folks on the dev team who worried that Roar would be too weak in solos and that people wouldn't want to use it at all in solos. And uh, it appears that that is not the case. So, interesting. Very interesting. I, I mean, it, it has been the case tonight. <laughs> until tonight. Because in pub games, that, that doesn't happen. This is the real Rumbleverse. That's true. This is the real Rumbleverse. I agree. When you're in a lobby with this many players who are this good, I feel like that's, you know, those those are the things you have to make the tuning decisions around because they don't really matter that much to people who are playing at a lower level. Right. They can't really tell. Nine, eight, seven. Spin the win, baby. Grab that pull and swing. Oh. Pulse we too are funny. very close. Oh, <laughs> what a spot! What a spot! I love it. Look at this spot. <laughs> You're a real scumbag, Triopsy, and I like it. <laughs> Here comes the river. There's no way two players make it across, right? Are we even hey, headed for boats? I can't I, tell. You have to right. reveal the secret. I told you. That's the, the rule. What, what two players make it all the way across. A season three wait, secret. Wait. If, if two players make it all the way across the river, you got to reveal something about season three. I never agreed to this. Yeah, no, you agreed. You said, yeah. There okay. is no season three. The game's well, it's it, done. Well, you know, but you were working on one. Yeah. So we, we need to know. That was it. That's all I can reveal is that we were working. We already knew that. Well. <laughs> That's not a reveal. That's all you get. This is horse shit. I can confirm. Recount. That season three was being worked on. There it is. <laughs> we already can, knew can you that. Also confirm, Kenan, can you also confirm that uh, Battle Royale is a game mode and not a, a genre? It's it's it's, a, it's uh, both. No no comment there. I don't want to get in the middle of you two. Yeah yeah. See, Keenan knows. Ke I know what side Keenan's on. Our, it's the winner's <laughs> side. All right, All right, so there are boats. The, the two boats are in the middle there. So they might actually make it across. Because there <laughs> are boats. This is going to be wild, though. Here we go. Here we go. Oh I'm excited for this. All right. Trying for the golf club. Traps. Everybody's got yeah, something. Look at, they're all trying to throw sniper. stuff at each other. Oh, there was the first one. Triopsy goes. Mole taking him out. Why, that's exactly Mole why everybody is trying to go. Pink oh, lip is oh, out. Triumph and Mole. Again. Oh my goodness. Faded battle, that's it. And that'll do it. That'll do it. I think he purposely tanked there. He did, sure yeah, 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 yeah. Hit him. Over. Triumph. Triumph taking it. Well, Triumph. that happened real fast. <laughs> Triumph. They didn't make it across. I mean, you don't have to reveal anything, so way to go. I wasn't going to anyway, but no, yes, you thank were. goodness. Thank listen, goodness. Listen, Dave Lang and Adam Boyce came to me and they said, Tell Adam if those players make it across the river that they have to reveal something about season three. But they that's didn't, so they I said. don't. That's what, yeah, but they didn't, so, you know, it's fine. But you agreed to, to making sure that you would call Battle Royale a game mode. I did not. not I there's I, there's video. Across. There's I didn't. no proof I of have that. To. There's You're no bound. proof of that. Nope. There's no proof. <laughs> I have it well, on video. Triumph is the greatest Rumbleverse player of all time. He won all yeah, I think both so. the Big Rapple and the Invitational. Uh, he was I, the I favorite so. one coming in tonight, and uh, he, he pulled it out. So we're going to yeah. get some points updated for you and show you the entire standings so we can see we everyone who made the top eight and how close the people just inside the bubble were. And uh, I'm actually I'm going to see if, if Triumph wants to talk. Oh, yeah? You want to bring him on? Yeah, I want to see if he wants to say anything. I, I just messaged him to see if he wants to to hop in. I'm gonna I'll give him permissions real quick while I'm waiting for his response, just in case. Dude, my my jaw is on the Jones. floor that three P did. Like jaw. what? It's <laughs> <sighs> amazing. Come on, you cunt. Yeah, he's, he's the best. I can't even I can't even deny it anymore. <laughs> All right, they're, uh, they're still posting up their scores. For sure. And well fought everyone tonight. Yeah, I hope everyone had fun, and this was a 
nice send off to competitive Rumbleverse. We got a little, little bit over a week left of uh, game play time to enjoy before the servers get shut yep. down. So, you know, I'll be around. Uh, I'm sure Kenan will be around as well, playing lots of uh, duos, trios, and quads with folks. So, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, for sure, we'll all be around playing until till it, till it's no longer playable. Um, but yeah, we definitely have to play more more games, Keenan. We only got to play that one time. I require more. I agree. To more. But uh, while we're while we're waiting on the on the scores to get updated and everything, just thanks thanks for watching, guys. You thanks for oh, playing. Oh, oh hey, there's there's the champ. There's Triumph, the champion. Triumph. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, so how, how does how does it feel to basically be undisputed best Rumbleverse player, maybe all time ever? Feels pretty good. Feels like another day. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> it's, it's just oh, another Saturday for Triumph. Ooh, it's another, no it's big Saturday, deal. But man, that was that was that was it. That shit. That was that ridiculous. Was, that was that was yeah. Man, you after, were after I won the last game. I was man. I was shaking. The adrenaline was going crazy. Yeah. Were you streaming cool. or recording Triumph? Yeah, I was streaming. I streamed the whole thing on a two minute delay. I'm definitely going to uh, definitely going to watch that back. I'm going to watch a, a couple people's back to to oh, yeah. see it from their perspective. Yep. Same. Whew. Yeah, that's really cool. And also, you are like what? What was the amount? Uh, one thousand eight hundred fifty-seven dollars richer. So that's that's cool. You what are you What are you gonna do with all that money? Hmm, I'm not sure. It'll probably probably just save it for a while. You know. I thought he was gonna say publish Rumbleverse <laughs> <laughs> with one thousand eight hundred fifty-seven dollars, nineteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all the game needs. Dude, people tweet us all the time. They're like, "Hey, my friend could save the game." We got. <laughs> We got a couple of grand. I'm like, all right. <laughs> How can I invest? Well, <sighs> let me tell you. But yeah, man, fucking thanks. Thanks for playing. Thanks for proving you're the best. Or thanks for me. hosting. Oh, I mean, you know, I, just, I couldn't do this stuff without the people playing. So, and people watching. You know, if there were 28 players, you're 29th, you know? <laughs> yes, that's, <laughs> that's where you are. <laughs> Appreciate it. I would man. say Investigation Cone's 29th and Tubber is 30th. Oh. oh, he could be 30th. <laughs> that's just a yeah, gap whatever, in between yeah. them. <laughs> the goat. But uh, only one person on this planet has made a trophy that you can put in your microwave. That's this true. Is. It's that's you get the trophy too. Are you gonna pop it? Are you gonna pop the trophy? I'm definitely popping it. I'm definitely yeah, popping it. Put that 100%. on. Put that on video. It's going on. Yeah, on it'll, it'll go on Twitter. He's uh, he's oh, going to get two ears of corn so he can pop one <laughs> exactly. and then display one. I there think you considering sick. you're the only one that has the other big grapple trophy, you have to take. Pictures of both of them side by that's side. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the so that's true. That's definitely going to happen. Next time I fall, that's trophy too. Right Damn, investigation yeah. going already has your address. You don't even have to reach out. He already knows. He's sending your way. all the info. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, Ooh, anyways, we got, we got our, our, final, our final scores, our final standings. Triumph in first with 41,832 points. Psychon in second with 23,598 points. Uh, Emperor Mole in third place with 20,724 points. Flea Guy in fifth with 19,242. Casual Tay in sixth with 12,312. Pink Lip in seventh with 11,373. And Just in the Money Edge with 11,066 points. Every single person in the top eight has over 10,000 points, so they all had enough points to have won one game, which is very interesting. And Saiken posting up a second place with a zero score in game one because he was unable to connect is incredibly impressive. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he did that. He did that with one less game than all the rest of you. Like in the goal. Pretty damn good, too. Pretty damn good player. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, uh, top ev- eight. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations guys. Triumph. Congratulations, uh, top three. Congratulations, everyone that, that competed tonight was such a joy to watch. Let me throw up the uh, here so you guys can see side by side. First in first through eighth places, the, the amount of money they'll be getting. Um, I'm going to pay you guys out as soon as I can. I, I have all the PayPal money. I'm just waiting on Iron Galaxy, and they said they're going to pay me next week to pay you guys. So hopefully, hopefully early to late next week, I'll have everybody paid out. That would be sick. I want to get you guys your money right away. So, thanks to everybody who donated. All the guys, every, all, every, all of you that watched, all you guys have played. Keenan, Keats, Investigation Cone. Thank you guys so much. I, you know, I, I really love Rumbleverse. I'm going to miss it a ton. 
And uh, this game was really special. So thanks, thanks everyone that worked on it. So were you, your channel, along with Investigation Cone, like the big grapple has been a home for so many in the community. And even if folks are competing uh, or watching, uh, having this space for us to just talk and communicate, I think is formed a, a bunch of really special bonds and friendships. So I, I'm so thankful to everyone that's organized and contributed, participated, everything. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and so, uh, folks are saying in the chat, Tubbo skipped a number. I think okay. Taken Memory, uh, I think Taken Memory oh, made Taken it was top eight. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Sorry about that. Taken Memory in eighth with... 900, yes. 9,979. My bad. So he's actually the there only person then who made the money who didn't get 10,000 points, but he was yes. damn close. Yeah. Yeah, super close. Um, but yeah, I think Investigation Cone had something that he wanted to say as well before we before we kill it all. And I'll, uh, I I'll name the players again before we go. I did. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you so much for all the players in that. Um, I, I get so happy when I run into people I recognize from the Big Grapple in games. It absolutely makes my day. And we have a great community. Um, I've said it many times before, but thank you so much to all the Iron Galaxy staff. You guys just put out something wonderful. And uh, the real reason I asked to be on here is I wanted to make sure that everyone gives huge shout outs to Tubbleware. Uh, before the game came out, he said, I'm going all in on this. He's the head mod of the subreddit for Rumbleverse. He has just done so much work um, pro just providing a place for us all to get together. And I really appreciate it. Thank you all. My pleasure. Plus 10,000. <laughs> yeah, plus a billion. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do my goodbye here, uh, but there will be a developer stream um, coming next week. Uh, we're going to show off some more old footage. You're going to get to see uh, a little bit of level design stuff, like what the island really used to look like as we try to figure that out, uh, including some almost full-length matches from builds from eons ago. They're very interesting to talk about. So definitely don't miss that stream, and I'll, and I'll do my goodbye there. But, uh, you know, second to everything that everybody said here, Tubbleware, uh, you're a treasure. You know, I love you like a brother. And uh, what you've done not just for this game or for me, but for this community and bringing all these beautiful people together. Uh, that'll live forever. So uh, thank you. Yep. You got biddies or subs donated now. <laughs> Now's the moment. No, this, <laughs> this is all about Rumbleverse and the players. So it's not about me. That's why I've had notifications turned off. If anybody has sub tonight, um, I appreciate you. I'm sorry I didn't notice, but I was very, very much into the game and not anything else. So. I think that's about going to do it for us tonight. I just once again, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you are in the money, do not leave the big grapple discord. I'm just, I'm going to communicate with you guys, when I need your information to send you money. But like I said, I'll be uh, trying to do that next week. As soon as I possibly can, I, I will, I will send everything out and just again, thanks everybody for playing. And, and I don't know, man, R Rumbleverse was, was the best. Uh, I really love this thanks. game and I hope we see it again in some shape or form in the future. That would be really great. Just keep the big grapple discord open so people can connect and play other games together. Oh, if they I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not closing it for now. Hey, for now. Cool. But yep, that's going to do it for us guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>